This year we really wanted to get to the Tier 2 out in Niagara, so we went early this year and uh, that went to a lot of events, so we played a lot this year. We're really good friends on and off the ice, so we're always having fun together, which I think makes it easier to curl together because we enjoy being out there. We have really good communication style. Um, we're all really committed and competitive and we like to win. Saskatchewan Championship Curling is brought to you by Viterra, SaskTel, Saskatoon Auto Connection, Singler Real Estate, Coldwell Banker Signature, Boston Pizza Restaurants of Saskatchewan, SaskTel Max TV, Curl Sask, and Real Cast Media. Well, dim the lights and let's go. Nighttime in Saturday here at the Tisdale Recplex and the Viterra Scotties. Time to get serious because it's playoff time here at the Provincial Playdowns. Here's what happened this afternoon in our tiebreaker in Pool B. Michelle Anglock continues to roll their fourth win in a row over Jessica Mitchell behind superb play from Stephanie Schmidt throwing skip stones for that Anglot ring. Eight for the winner. So... The final pool standings after the tiebreaker. Nancy Martin and Skylar Ackerman lock up the 1-2 spots. They'll play tonight in the page playoff. Penny Barker and because of the tiebreaking win, Michelle Engler claim the final two playoff spots. So this is how the page playoff breaks down. As you mentioned, Nancy Martin and Skylar Ackerman at the top of your screen. The winner of tonight's game goes straight to tomorrow's final. Meanwhile, in a quarterfinal, Penny Barker will play Michelle Anglot, winner to tomorrow's semifinal against the loser of the 1-2 game. As we say good evening and welcome to the playoffs here 
at the Scotties, the Viterra Scotties. Darren DuPont, Kim Hodson, Sean Joyce with you. Susan Lang is with us as well. We'll have eyes on both games throughout the night. But our featured game features the 1-2 game, and it's uh, Nancy Martin, who again, perfect Kim throughout the round robin, but not without a little adversity in the Penny Barker game. I was going to say the same thing, not without adversity. They're 5-0, and but uh, they've showed a lot of resiliency. They played uh, Sherry Anderson. They were down, I don't remember the exact number, but it was a five lot. 5-1. 5-1, one. Oh. One. thank you. Anyway, they came back. They won that game. They were down another time. So, yeah, 5-0, and but not a cakewalk. So, shown resiliency. And they've been in the spot before. This is where they were last year when they went through the whole thing. So they're going to have to find, though, another way to uh, get through this game and then get through the final. Sean Poolby features uh, Robin Silvernagel, defending champ, winners of three of the last four. <laughs> Michelle Anglad, a veteran, but it's the young team. It's the Skylar Ackerman rink that's sitting in the first seed in that pool. It is. They're the first seed and uh, second seed coming into the event. Top seed in that pool, and they go through with a record of four and one. They have done the same thing here, really, that I think they've done all year long. They're a team that plays a lot of offense. They play fearless, and for the most part, I can remember one time that it cost them one point, but boy, playing fearless has put a lot of points on the board for them. It's worked well for them. I expect they'll continue to play that way here tonight. So our feature game, Nancy Martin and Skylar Ackerman, a chance at tomorrow's final on the board. Well, we've got playoff action from the Recplex in Tisdale coming your way on Saturday night from the Viterra Scotties. We know farming isn't an 8-to-5 business. That's why we want to give you the tools to do business anywhere, anytime. With MyViterra, you have a powerful tool at your fingertips to stay connected no matter where you are. Create online contracts, receive customized alerts, view your account information, and access grain prices in real time. Talk to your rep today and find out more about how you can harness the power of MyViterra. Keeping you connected in real time. This is MyViterra. All the gold medals in the world can't help you now. You can throw the perfect rock and still miss. But it just takes one. You leave it all out there on the ice to leave behind a legacy. Back inside the Recplex, getting set for the playoffs here at the Viterra Scotties. Before we get started, we'll get an update on the other five playoff game going on. Let's welcome in and say good evening to Susan Lang. Hello, and thank you, Darren. Yes, when only four teams remain in this by Terra Scotties, that means that there's only one other feature game for us to keep an eye on. We'll be keeping a very close eye on that 3-4 game on Sheet 4. As Darren mentioned, it's critical. The winner moves on. The loser goes home. So stay tuned, and we'll keep updated best we can. Great stuff, Susan. And you can just get a small glimpse of the great crowd that's here again tonight for the playoffs all week long the crowd has been awesome let's meet the teams who will play in the one two playoff game i'm skip nancy martin third is lindsey birch second is maddie Clyder. lead is kristen Carwacki, and we call out the martinsville curling club in martinsville saskatchewan Hi, I'm Skip Skyler Ackerman. The third is Ashley Tevino, second Taylor Stremick, and lead Kaylin Skinner. And we curl out of the Nutana Curling Club in Saskatoon. Nancy Martin will throw the red stones. She'll have hammer to open up this game in the first end. So Skyler Ackerman with the yellow stones will go first. Should be a good one, one versus two, as now we'll see the crossover in the pools and playing brand new opponents for the first time in a while. That's right, they didn't see each other earlier in the week. Both finishing first in their pools. I'd have to go back and check the records. We've got the paper everywhere here, but uh, both of these teams played a few Saskatchewan Tour events, and I would be very surprised if they didn't meet once or twice this year. The Skyler Ackerman's team throwing yellow. Kaylin Skinner making her fourth Scotty's appearance. Gets us started here in the 1 2 game. Playing against her hand. And I was talking to her dad just a few minutes ago just to confirm the relationship. Apparently, there is one entire section that is all related to one or the other. And they're all sitting together, getting along so far. Hi, <laughs> girl. Yeah, who do you cheer for in this one? I think, again, same with 
I asked that question. He said, in this one, it's not that bad because it's not an elimination. They know that one of the other is going to yeah. the final. That's right. And it's the youngest team in the field, the Ackerman team. Kristen Karwacki throwing lead stones for Nancy Martin. Yep. Whoa. Definitely that Whoa. Money. Whoa. Throw it that way. No, Dan. Yeah. Go, go, go. Okay, good. Nice throw. Money. Head throw, Crystal. Really nice. 9-8. We were doing the game when uh, Nancy Martin went to 4-0, and and we knew based on the head-to-head matchups of what had gone on then that she had clinched first place in the pool. And we were talking to her a little bit about how important was that fifth game, how hard was it going to be to stay sharp. They weren't sure if they were still playing for anything. They didn't know how the uh, rock selection and hammer selection worked for the crossover game, the page 1-1 one, one game, and uh, we can tell you now that by virtue of having a 5-0 and record, better record than Skylar Ackerman, she had first choice of hammer or rocks. They of course selected the hammer here in the opening end of play, so it was the Ackerman team that picked the yellow rocks. Second Scotty's appearance. Throwing second stones for Skylar Ackerman. It's not unusual anymore because the last, I don't know, couple of uh, games we've seen at least the Rocks coming into the rings early. So yeah. no longer uh, an anomaly. Yeah, used to seeing this wide open first end. Crowd here at the Recplex in Tisdale and line skip Skylar Ackerman. Ten, 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 easy, ten, ten, clean only, nine five, clean, clean, clean only, clean, clean, clean only, ten, seven. Okay. Good throw, Taylor. Good throw. That throw will come in, ten. and we'll get your keys to the game. They're same. Same. brought to you by Saskatoon Auto Connection. Well, for the Ackerman team, the keys to the game, and, and when I wrote this down, don't worry about what you don't know. I watched them down there before the game. They were dancing around to the music that was playing. These girls don't know they're supposed to be nervous in a game like this, and that's a good thing for them. Pressure makes diamonds, and these girls have put together a few gems this week just by putting a lot of pressure on their opposition, and then they've done that all year long. They need to do that again tonight. And the keys to the game for the Martin team. Well, the first key to the game is their experience. Other than Maddie, uh, this is a team of veterans. Been there, done that. They've been in this position before, and they just get it done. And the other key to the game is the young one. Well, on this team, the young one is their second, Madison Kleider. She's never been in a Scotty's Provincial before, but granted lots of experience in big games. But her performance will be the key to their success tonight. Keys to the game brought to you by Saskatoon Auto Connection. Yeah, youngest player in the field. The rookie on this Nancy Martin team. Mm -hmm. Addison Clyder. Okay, 9-4. Good throw. It was 9-5. 9-4. 9-4, yeah. 9-4. Yeah. Yep, 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 yep. Hard. Lindsay Birch as we're Hard. the third stones Three. here in the opening end. Oh. Yep, 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 yep. 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 Good. Yeah. Okay. A little inside roll. 10-2. Okay, okay. 10-2. Hard, actually. Okay. Here, let's get easy, easy. Oh. Just like Madison Clyder, oh, Ashley oh. Tivano making her Scotty's yeah. debut. That's right. That's good. Yep, you're good, you're good. You're good. At 25, Ashley's a little bit older than Maddie, but 
This is her provincial debut. And a good sign for the health of the game in the province when so many young players are it, playing in the top game of the playoffs. Isn't that awesome? It sure is. There you see that Lindsay was runner-up last year here. Provincials playing with Nancy. This team going undefeated last year and losing in the final. And undefeated so far here this weekend as well. Perfect 5-0. and oh. Looking to make it 6 and book a spot in Sunday's final. Skip Stones here in one. Skylar Ackerman with her first upcoming. Ackerman and her rink curling out of the Nutana Curling Club in Saskatoon. Making a third Scotty's ten. appearance. Easy. Ten. Clean. Off. Ten. Off. Clean. Oh, oh, oh. Curl. Back to back spots right, in the girl. playoff. Now looking to see if she can capture her first provincial okay. title. Needed to hit that a little bit on the inside to roll into the rings. Hitting it on the nose, she's left it for a tight guard and Nancy Barton. Going to make an attempt to come around it and see if she can generate a, an easy deuce here in the first end without taking any risks. I think less for me, Linz. A little less, a little less. Yeah. This is the kind of shot through the week they might not have played it. They might have just peeled that corner guard because, of course, Again, I hate to talk at nauseum about the draw to the button, but it's such a big thing. They would have been drawing to the button in practice. For this game, because Hammer was assigned, they probably threw a few different shots in practice. She may feel she already knows this spot. Yep. 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 What do you need? Probably here. Yeah, I'd really light, sorry. Yeah, a little light, and it started to over curl, so they backed off on the sweep because they didn't want to put the yellow into the rings. So give Skylar a chance here to get around that now and maybe get the force. Yeah, yeah, that 45. I like it, bud. Take it. Right around there. Yeah. It's easier at the line earlier. Well, curl here, but. Skyler can afford to ice this a little tight actually too because if she rubs coming by it's her own stone put two into the rings you still get the force final stone and one for Skylar Ackerman without the hammer a little tight yep hard low okay gotta go line will be fine okay four. 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 now wait only top eight And tuck it in behind coverage. Okay. And she'll spill oh. in off her own. 15 3. Oh, yeah. So, an opportunity for the blank and one for Nancy Martin with her final stone. Okay, just peel here. Yeah. You got it. Final stone here in the opening end for Nancy Martin. Yep, yep, yep. yep. Yes. And her ring curling Hard. out of Martinsville. Yes. Hard. Hard. Yes. Hard, Maddie. Clean, clean. Right over, Kristen. Good job. Good, Nan. And they'll Good. guide it all the way out. Blank. For a blank in one. The playoffs underway here in Tisdale at the Recplex. And we're scoreless after one here at the Viterra Scotties.
This is it. It all comes down to this rock. The hours in the gym, the weeks away from my family. This is what I've been training for. And all those voices trying to tear me down. I'm here to silence them. We've given everything we have for a chance to get everything we want. Two playoff games on the ice here inside the Recplex at the Viterra Scotties. Michelle Angla with the hammer in one playing okay. Penny Barker, Susan. Yes, lots of rocks in play in this end. Michelle Engla had already indicated that the rock in the back forefoot is shot rock. Stephanie Schmidt attempting to draw this out of forefoot for the second point, but it stays and hangs out and looks like it slid, slid right through the house. Michelle won nothing after one. Michelle Engla looking to pick up a fifth straight win after starting the Viterra Scotties 0-2. Outside of Nancy Martin, the hottest team here. Well, they've rattled off now uh, four straight wins, and gosh, they sure look good this afternoon. Strong team effort with uh, Stephanie, who throws last rocks, making some clutch shots and uh, some brilliant play. Are they top four right now? Top four? Queen? Here in our featured sheet, the 1-2 page playoff game. Winner of this on to tomorrow's final. Really curly. The loser will play the winner of the other playoff game we just showed you. The semi-final early tomorrow morning. I say early, I mean 10 a.m., but that's early when you're at the patch all night. Yeah, it's early. Life comes at you fast, the Scotties. Sure does, and the nights are short. <laughs> <laughs> That's not really the fault of the draw. <laughs> There's, as much as you you're going to tell hey, people otherwise, right nobody's now. forcing you to do go it, to the hospital. <laughs> this, is, this is the provincial, like the Viterra Scotties. At the National Scotties, it's four draws a day. That's right. They're not starting at 10 a.m. Yeah, I love that. Can we roll away? Nose is fine too, yet. Yeah. I don't mind rolling away. You want one throw just bumper? I don't or mind ten. 10. 10, Kate. We know it. That's okay. Easy 10. Okay, it curled yeah. a lot. Okay. A lot, a lot. So, that's why. He's sharp. Final lead stolen for yeah. Kristen yeah. Karwacki. Yes. 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 Scott yes. Scotty's yes. tournament yes. of hearts with Carrie Anderson as an alternate. A couple of goals in 21 and 22 for that Anderson team. And there's a nice hit and roll behind the center. We can throw like half. Speaking of Carrie Anderson, she's one of four teams that have already booked their spot into the Scotties Tournament of Hearts in Calgary next month, along with Rachel Holman, Jennifer Jones, and then Bailey Scoffin of the Yukon, the only provincial qualifier to earn a spot in yet. Three other provincial playdowns happening this weekend, and eight more start next week. That's what they're playing for here in Tisdale. The chance to represent Saskatchewan in Calgary next month. Five. 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 
Josh nudges those a little bit. Yeah, they were sweeping for the curl there. I like hitting that. To like stuck in another one around. Like on Christmas time. Want to do that? Yep. Yep. Okay. That was really big. Okay, just a ten. Okay. The last one was a 9.5, so I'll bring it down. No, and you guys said back to touch. Not much. Yeah, that was, that was incorrect. <laughs> incorrect. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> this is open on the other side. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Wait, wait, wait. Well, we don't have that yes. here. Yes. 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 Mr. Carwacki on the brush. Hard. Hard. And now Lindsey Birch. The inside okay, corner trying to hold the shooter. Hi, Nate. Good and they won't. You gotta hit one of them. Okay. This is sliver tight. Okay. Edge on yeah. edge. I'll just give you a hair more there. there. It's pretty movie. Same way. All right. I like that. So there's a look at it. You can see there's a bit of air there. Looking to get a little bit of an inside roll here. Yeah, just that extra foot to go. It's so mighty. Really slow. Taylor Stremick, really slow. Really slow. the 2022 Not Canada bad. West easy University easy easy Conference easy Champion. Easy hack. Gonna curl. Easy hack. Yeah. All-star yeah. third it. that year. Oh, you got it. Oh. To the inside. Little roll. Got a Hard tiny go, roll. Go, go, go. Good news, bad news. It's a good shot, but uh, bad news is Nancy and the Martin T can see a good two-thirds of that. They can play and hit and roll away and sit three, and they have last rock, too. Just hack! Yep! Oh, so quiet! Yep! Yes. Hard! Hard! Okay, whoa! Yep, yep! Okay, roll that, off, roll that off, yes. roll that off, roll that off. Not past their own. Yeah. Okay, it's fine, Maddie. Good throw. Yeah. Yeah, more ice there. Good throw. Well, Nancy being pretty positive there. All right, Ashley. Really good throw. Telling Maddie you threw it well. My fault. Just ten. Yeah. One on the last stone. She said, "Okay, a little tight. I'll give you more ice next time." Yeah. Ten five. Yep. Eleven. Hard. Trying to get the roll across. They'll end up stacked on top of each other. There you see where that guard is. They've got a pretty good eye at those. Yeah, but all of it. Yeah, but it's edge, edge. I just want to get three quarters. Okay, I like ten. Maddie, yours moved pretty good here, eh? It's curling like it came into that. So just um, use a broom, good 10. Want to throw P.O. and just yeah, get rid of I, it? I, yeah. When she said that. three quarters, yeah. I'm not sure why you're throwing it quiet. Because oh, quiet with three quarters okay. is just going to put we the top one behind the guard. You know, if you want to throw quiet and try to get right to the nose and, and uh, sit right in front of it, it's tough to make the double here without, well, you're going to lose the shooter, obviously. Nope. And that oh, just leaves curl, the one stone curl, in the back curl, of the curl. rings. Lindsay Birch now. Okay. So first Gotta make contact. Here, and it's just going to slide by, okay. jam on the red in the back, and that does fall under cover, but. Just tight. Yeah. Yep. Yep. Yeah. Skyler's got a chance to guard those two in the rings now, though. Maybe just nine then, next time. Ashley Tivano. A 2020 Provincial Junior Champion. Easy, 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 Two. Three, tight. Two. Good. Two. Never curl, never curl. Two. Leave it high on the side. Okay, half wing. Leave it high. Two and a half. Never curl. Okay, Let us sit. Well, time for the double peel. It's going to send that second rock into the rings. Could make quite a few move here. Yep. 
Didn't take long to flip the script on this end. <laughs> One, two, through the rings. You started that like you expected to count higher. <laughs> The two yeah. shot rocks end up untouched. Yeah, and you also see where they left those other guards out front as well. So they're looking at... Draw path. That's right. For one. Yep. So they're looking at guarding on this side and uh, have Nancy in a bit of trouble. I am paying attention when you guys do talk. You know, what are you leaving yourself? Yes, that draw path. Not anymore. We thought you just ignored us most of the time. <laughs> can't lead on but I'm actually listening you're just trying to figure out if there's anything I can do with any of the names <laughs> yeah get out in front of it that's what I'm trying to do Two. mine's good it's really good wait all day wait all day Skylar Ackerman tight three okay. easy halfway gotta be three on this line good. never curl never curl skip this stones is here three. in straight. a second straight. Oh, just let okay. it sit, let it sit. Yep, yep, yep. Curl, 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 curl. Go, 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 go. Trying to close off a port if there is one. Pretty sure they did. That was very good flipping. Not a lot of room there to come through. Yeah, there's good luck at it. I think maybe. It's good. Not we take the top. I think so. My stuff is right in front of that guy. Are you trying to run back? Can well, I catch something. Where she's putting the broom, I think she thinks there's a hole. When she gets to the yeah. hack, I think she's going to decide there's not. And she said, you know, try this, and if I don't, I end up making the peel. But which one is she? If she doesn't make the hole, which one is she trying to hit? I think if you throw the weight to make the hole, you're not going to hit the rocks and the rings. That hole? <laughs> <laughs> it's not as wide as you, you've implied. <laughs> That's the one, right? That's the one. First shot for Nancy Martin. Oh, oh. She maybe has a skinny rock here. I think she's running the yellow guard back. Kristen Karwacki is on it. Oh, and she almost slid it through. That worked out, though. The shooter will spill into the rings for third Helps shot. Helps a little. I don't Does think it? it's an option. Maybe. No, maybe. It, if it had stopped a little bit sooner, whatever, yeah. if you were able to hit the red now, you're still not killing the second yellow. Yeah. Might lose one up first. Yeah. I think I like it. Ten, sorry. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Really cool. Let's make it good. Okay, I hold it for you. Yeah. Yeah, I agree. Easy, really, though. Yeah, you bet. They're looking at hitting this red. <laughs> And uh, flopping on top. It's got to be a little careful hitting that red. You don't want to disturb either the two behind it. They're lined up so that even if you rolled out here, Nancy Martin would have to roll out to, to play the double on those. If she does that, she's forced. Yep, yep. Yep. Stay, stay. Final stone for Skylar Ackerman. Here in the second without the hammer. The hit. Okay. And she'll spill out for fourth shot. She got away with disturbing them because it's still you can't you can't double those and stay. And actually, okay, if you hit them on the you'd have to hit them on the center line to side to double them at all. You hit them on the other side, they're dragging into the red on the back. So Nancy's saying that uh, coming down here and uh, hitting it on that side, this one's going to go that way. This one could possibly drag right onto this one, and you still give him one. But she said, well, give it a go. I think she's trying to hit it thick enough to keep her shooter there, so she's going to have to throw the bullet, and you, you wouldn't get the top one all the way out, but she's hoping she can squirt it out to the edge of the 12 foot. Just looking at that broom, thinking she's trying to hit this as thick as she can. Still get them both moving. 
Final stone here in the second end for Nancy Martin. Close. Against two Close. yellow stones. Kristen Karwacki on the sweep. Got a move in, but it'll jam at the back. And where will that second one end up? Two yellow. It's a steal of two for Skylar Ackerman here in the second. The one-two page playoff game underway. The trip to the final on the line. But Skylar Ackerman, the youngest team in the field. The steal of two here in two. When we were first looking at these e-bikes, I read the reviews. What they talked about was an e-bike grin, and I had no idea what an e-bike grin was, but the first time I powered that bike up, I had the biggest smile on my face. It was unbelievable, because unless you own one or have driven one, you really have no idea what that feeling is like. It's, it's, uh, it's hard to describe. When you buy a lottery ticket in Saskatchewan, your money really goes a long way. More than 12,000 sport, culture, and recreation groups receive funding from Sask Lotteries every year. Everyone wins. The playoffs underway in Tisdale at the Viterra Scotties. We go to the 3-4 game, 1-0. Michelle Englott getting one in the first season. Penny Barker's last rock here. Shot Rock is there already. They're sitting one. Stephanie Schmidt attempted an intern hit on that red rock that was edge to edge to a long corner guard. She crashed on the corner guard, allowing this a draw attempt to the open house. Looks like it's going to slow down. Two points for Penny Barker in the second end. 2-1 going into the third. Michelle Englott, the hammer in three. It's Penny Barker, three and two in the round robin. Started off with a win over Sherry Anderson, a big one on back on Wednesday night, feels so long ago. Three, Mine's three, good. Three, two, three, two. got her into the playoffs. Been a lot of rocks thrown Mine's since then. Good. Hold the line, hard line. Here in our featured game, yep. the one two hard game line. tonight. Yep, drag it a bit. Skylar Ackerman with a steal of two in the second. All right, keep going. So Nancy Martin keep retains going. the hammer keep here going. in three. Good, good. Good spot. Nice shot. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Halfway, just bite the back of the side. Yeah. Yeah. Let's do it. Good out. I'm good. Let it pass. Kaylin Skinner. Yeah, asking Kaylin to throw the center guard. You see that she threw her first one, top eight, top 12, top 12, I guess. Taylor Knight, yep, right over. Right over, right over. Good job. Trying to get it over to the center line, and they will. He's right around. I like that throw better. Yeah, really nice. So Nancy asking Kristen to come around a corner guard now. This is more. Nice. Top four. Top eight. Top eight. Top eight. Okay, line's good. Top eight. Room right now. Top eight. Line's good. Real. Wait for here. Got to go. Real. Coming down a lot. Top eight. eight. Top 12. Top eight. Yes. Curl. Curl. Go, go, go. Curl. Curl. Oh, oh, get it in though. Hard. Trying to get it into the rings. Oh. Yeah, going hard on the sweep here. Okay. Just not quite there, but the double corner works out well, too. It's a little heavier going to the lane. Yeah, for sure. Good so that nice, good pass Draw here? Pack. Yeah, you bet. Okay. Top four, right? 13, 8, 15. Top eight! Boom, easy, Ellie! Top four! And Taylor Stremick now, second stones here in the third end. We're on the red! It's going to die here. Three. 
Keep going, keep going. We're still on the red. Got to get by the corner here. Go, 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 jam go. on it. Yeah, it's getting a little messy out there. Let's see. 15-3. Okay. But Nancy has counted to five, now. and she can start to deal with that mess <laughs> now. Half a rock gets it. Okay. No, There's a chance the top yellow, it's a good camera angle there, that it's coming right into that red by yep. Nancy's yep. foot. Yep. Direct nose hit. Okay. Yeah, leaves a double center. Are you taking same or less? I'm, I'm still going to get less, yeah. Oh, okay. What did she say, less? What? She's still this gonna is less, less. less. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Same way, Coming around the center now. Starting to curl now. Very nice. So Skylar Ackerman lying two here without the hammer in three. Two center guards fairly close together. The double peel should work, but I think they're too far apart to drag, so it likely goes by everything. So asking Ashley to replace the guard here, center line guard. Worried about it over curling a bit. Ends up on the center line. So that works. A little bit of angle and not a lot of distance. Yeah. Able to get all three of them going. That certainly can. Lindsay Birch. Pro, 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 pro. No. Okay. And just slides that yellow guard Thank over. I'll just open it up and then I didn't hear anything from Nancy, but that's the second intern hit yeah. for Lindsay that, uh, you know, she flashed one, completely flashed one earlier, no. and just caught the edge of that stone on that one. Leaves the one in the top 12 almost fully open, too. Could we play like I mean, it's probably sitting here. So, did it need to curl or did it not need to curl? Probably did a little bit. You like that? Could have stood to be a little tighter, too, if they could have. Yeah. Okay. Had everything they wanted. Like both? No. Or how about? You got to throw. Wait, get rid of this. Okay. I like more weight. You like. Like firm? Firm? Yeah. Yep. I like firm. So Nancy trying to remove them both? Just right out of here. Firm. Yep, you got it. At the very least, get it out from behind the guard. 
tough to get everything out of one rock. You'd love to stick around in the rings, but you're going to get them uh, out in the open. You've got to hit the first one a little bit thinner. Christian Karwacki gets past the guard and gets them both. Great shot from Lindsey Birch. Oh, look out. I think Lindsey's just so darn happy that she uh, kind of cleaned up a little bit. Of course, they left the guard out there where it was just a rock to trip over, and so somebody did. <laughs> This is the kind of thing I was talking about with the Ackerman team. They like to put the pressure on. And when you look at uh, this situation, they can see that red stone at the top of the 12 foot. It's, it's not in behind the guard. She can make a play on it. She's going to elect to come right around everything. Try to put something in the top of the button area. Skip stones. Really close, Here in the third. Back four. Line's good. Back four, back even. Hold on, T. Hold on. Three. Three. Line's good, Ollie. Wait, Ollie. Top eight. Go top four. Go four. Top four. Got a curl. Got a curl. Line's really good. Right here, guys. Yep, yep, yep. Right Caitlin here. Skinner and Taylor Strummick guiding this one in. How far can they drag it? Down into the eight foot. Yeah, but that's a short run and roll into the rings. Yeah. yeah. Nancy can come hit that one. Her shooter's probably going to roll right over here. Not sure what happened to that one. I, the weight call from the brushers early on indicated it was going to be a lot deeper than that. And of course, yep. if you're deeper, this shot's probably not available. I think they're just saying they should have been on it a little earlier. And that red stone they promote should get under cover. If you hit it just right, it'll be at least a piece under cover. And uh, you can roll the shooter into the rings as well. Sit two. I just don't think we're going to miss it. Nancy Martin with the hammer here in three. Madison Kleider and Kristen Karwacki. They got a piece over. Still pretty good. Didn't quite roll a shooter on, but. 10 8. Good weight. That other red one must not be in. It's not. Wait, yeah. The top one? Is the top one in? No. Nope. Oh, okay. okay. No, they're just sitting one. Yeah, I don't think Scottish Joyce is really. Yeah. Play the same draw, try to get it in a little bit better, or you play the double. Play the double on the two reds at the top. It, you're giving her the blank. Final stone for Skylar Ackerman. Needs to get this one a little deeper than the last. Uh, if you're too tight to that red, the, the red, red double run. There's not a lot of space Same between them. Nancy will take a run at it. It's for two. Hey, it's okay if you're back. It's okay if you're back. T. It's gotta be T line. Line's really good here, guys. Top four. Yep, gotta go for it then. Line's looking nice on this. And right down to the button for Skylar Ackerman. Yeah, very nice. And I think she got enough finish that uh, that double run is not an automatic now. Here. 
Because yeah. when I go over, I think no, just no. Yeah, not automatic. You can see the line here. She's got a line. She's got it lining it up to drive it just ever so slightly across the face on the first one to bring it more straight back. Yeah, across this way so that this one comes back <laughs> that way. Sorry, I gotta get better at those. <laughs> she doesn't have to whip it though, and I heard her talking about throwing just a 10. Can you come up? I think. Let's go a 9.5, just a hair last side. She needs to get that shot rock pretty much out of the rings. Yeah, with the way she's chance throwing it, too. She's making contact with it. It's going. The issue is really all going to be about the line on the first two. Final stone here in the third for Nancy Martin. Something to think about with any kind of shot like this. Uh, you're not trying to move three stones. You're just trying to hit one stone right. Physics will take care of the rest. One, two, three. For a count of two for Nancy Martin. Sorry. It's okay. Gets Great job, the job by done in the second end and takes a 2 nothing lead over Skylar Ackerman as the Viterra Scotties continue on a playoff Saturday night in Tisdale. So you're a pizza person, but you're married to a wing person, and your kids are salad people? You can't pick your fam, but with over 50 menu items to choose from, you can make them all happy. Order today and enjoy Boston pizza at home. Saturday night in the playoff action heating up in our 3-4 game, Michelle Englott and Penny Barker, Susan. Well, most of this end was spent uh, Barker throwing up a guard and Englott's team not getting the double peel. Another guard, another attempt to double peel. It's on and on and on. Finally leaving this draw attempt for Stephanie Schmidt to come up to the side of the forefoot to try to get her single. She had this in the last end, too, to try and get another forefoot. That's right, and they're struggling a little bit here with the draw path uh, on a couple of other previous shots earlier in this end, trying to get just the exact right broom and, and weight so there's sweeping it hard but it's going to come up short for a steal of one for the Barker team 3-1 playing the four. Penny Barker of Moose Jaw trying to book a spot in the semi-final winner of that game will face the loser of tonight's 1-2 playoff game our featured action tonight I thought it was all there <laughs> Skylar Ackman put two on the board and two. Nancy Martin got two and three, and we're all tied up as we play the fourth. One, two, one, two. One, two. I was going to say right back where we started from, but not quite. Flip the hammer. Yep. I'll just give you a few feet more. Oh, it's better. I think it's back for right now. Kristen Karwacki, the semi-finalist at the 2011 Finals. Canadian Red. Nationals, the Junior Nationals. Yaline! Yaline! Hardline! It's like a two. Okay. It's hard two. Line. You're on this one now. Hard, hard, just a little chip. Okay. Little bump off their own in the rings. Yeah. Done. Gotta roll into the 12 foot to be buried here. 
Roll. I think you can see a bit of it. Oh, there you go. You can see almost all of it. Now. Got a curl. curl. Trying to move curl, it over. Curl, 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 curl. Be good, Maddie. And okay. got enough. Nine Who's nine? the shooter? Yeah. And they're like. Yeah. Yeah. Trying to bury it a little deeper. A little more over. Good shot. Was it just heavy too? I think nine five. She's hit. Certainly lots of room here. Gotta go, gotta go, gotta go. Tuck a piece, tuck a piece, tuck a piece. Go, 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 go. go. The weight was great, just took took forever for the line. Yeah, didn't, didn't quite get there. Yeah. Yeah, I just max set. Hey, I'll just throw ten here. You need a foot less than me. Yeah, I do. <laughs> That's fine. You can wait though, but you're definitely right though. I thought I kicked out with more yeah, than yeah, my last. It's just for sure. Hair sticky because it curls. Madison Clyder throwing go. second stones. Curl! Three! Curl! Curl! Three! Difference of opinion here. Four! Three! Ten! Roll it, roll it, roll it. Okay, that's good. Good throw, Maddie. stick there. Do you guys like the double or do you like this? Whichever you like. Great roll. Like this. Yep. Ten. Which do you like? Well, you know, they have last stone. There's nothing wrong with this. I was just thinking back to Sean's comments earlier. They're not afraid to be aggressive. No. I like the one you can make. <laughs> yeah. Whichever one you tell me you're going to make. Which is part of the reason why as a skip in all seriousness, that's why she asked, you know, which one are you comfortable throwing? Which one are you seeing? They're both good shots. The hit on the nose doesn't get under coverage. Having said that, okay. as a skip, when you call down to the other end and you ask them what they want to play and they just, whatever you want, I just, that <laughs> just drives you up the wall. I want you to tell me what you want to play. Yeah, tell me what you see. Yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah, exactly. That's her tendency to ask is to override. Yeah! I wasn't sure because I was Because in the end, they get a nose hit. It's not what they were looking for. They want either the double or the roll. Go, 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 Maddie. Well, as a skip, if you like one more than the other and want to play one, you'll just call it. Yeah. Well, yes, yeah, you would, for sure. Because uh, that's the reaction from the other end. Well, whichever you like means I don't want to, you know, if you're thinking one way, but as a skip, if I have an opinion, I'll probably make the call. Uh, yeah, and I love that uh, yeah. attitude from them most of the time. But, uh, again, in that situation, they were both good shots. So, you know, there's nothing wrong with asking the thrower, like, what are you seeing? Certainly as you get into the game... Different Money. throwers are going to see different things. Oh. Maybe it's a shot that they've already played. Uh, and they'll have a, a preference for what they want to throw or something they'd be more comfortable throwing. That was a good time to uh, ask. They get a nice hit and roll here, so now they've got some pressure on. Yeah, that red is awful lonely and open. Yeah, and it's not the kind of stone you're necessarily going to want to guard, certainly with a yellow already in the rings. 
Yeah. 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 It's getting late in the end to peel that That's guard what I was thinking. and stop them from scoring two. Yeah, looking at uh, coming around, but more importantly, making these even, not leaving a double. Tell you what, you better and not be by the T-line either, because if you are, yep. I think we can safely predict Skylar Ackram is going to sit on top of it. Trying to hold the line. Yeah, they got to get by the yellow. Yep, 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 yep. <laughs> and I think oh, they did. Oh, it's just going to get past. But is the double there? It's flat, but it's there. <laughs> Don't have to move it very far. Like three quarters. I just grew leg. Yep. I don't think it's going to curl here, hey? Oh, it's good. I think I need less. Okay. Take your time, buddy. Let's do it. Nice and flat, too. So, Ashley, Tevin up. Peel! Big Whoa. peel! Whoa! Whoa! Big peel! Taylor! Uh. Oh, and just right through. Well, used a big extension, he generates some extra weight trying to roll flat and uh, probably set it just a little bit. They're not just coming before, back with that weight. Just yeah. before she threw, yeah, she did say a little less ice too and got it and... Just to back here? And then took a little more. <laughs> yeah. Back, no, no. Like, I'm throwing back there, but just tap it back yeah. more. Is like this or... Either this yeah, or I don't. I don't mind the guard either. Huh? But you gotta make guard. the perfect yeah. guard. Yeah. That's just top eight. Do you like the guard? Um, it's top eight. I don't mind the tap either. I'm not sure if it'll that much. Problem with the tap is it should. now you bring that rock a, a rock's width higher, and that double to the corner is not as flat. It's a little bit more makeable. Just and that's assuming you just leave it as a double. There could be a triple. You could set up a triple by coming in. Line's yep. good. Line the top. Yep. 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 Oh, yeah. So we'll see. Hard. Yep. Yep. Hard. 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 Nancy Martin Hard. skips stones. Hard line. Hard line. Hard line. Straight, straight. Hard line. Straight, straight, straight. Hard line. Straight, straight, straight. Straight, straight, Trying to hold on to it. She could definitely get all three of them moving. Yeah. Now the triple's there coming on the other side. You betcha, coming this way. Yeah. Whoa, missed the rock. <laughs> 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 that way and that way. Wouldn't have thought you could have aided thick enough Crumple to the top like that. start again. <laughs> Let's try yeah, it one, one more time. time. That way, that way. And this one catches that one. Not a lot of room between the first two ridges you have to make contact with and at that angle. I mean, it's, yeah, these she two could here. just dead jam them, but if she makes the other double, she's got second and third behind cover. Behind Even cover. if she does jam that, if they all fly, I could be looking at a chance for three yet. First skip stone for Skylar yep, Ackerman. Yep, yep, hard. Keep really hard. hard. Hard, right up. Hard. Hard. hard, hard. One, two, okay. and just over top of the third. That's okay. Close one. I'm really close, buddy. Good sweep. Good sweep. Yeah. Still Nancy Martin sitting one here without the hammer in four. Yeah, she's drawing to the bigger part of the rings. She just wants to make darn sure she doesn't set up a double. Back four, I think. Yeah, okay. yeah, I like it. We're still here. <laughs> so I was probably back 12? Yeah. Okay. Okay. 
Second stone from Nancy Martin. Think you're okay. Don't want to go. Don't want to go. Curling now. Back eight. Really moving now. Back eight. Really curling. Back eight. Back eight's okay. No, can't go. Three, four. Can't go. Gotta sit here. Good, good. Should be okay. Third four. Third four. Third four. Good. Nancy. That's fine. Slow down. That's absolutely fine back there. They were just trying to make yeah. sure they were deep enough that they didn't leave any kind of double. Because you can't see that red stone enough. No. To go after the one behind the guard no. first? No. The, the double that they'd leave, if she'd left it up high, if she was on the Viterra Logos at the front of the house, that, that, she'd that play that first. similar to what she played on the last one. That's why you're fine being deep there. The key was to not leave it high in the house where there'd be a double for three. So they're playing the hit for one. They are. You could draw here too if you wanted to. It's it's totally a question of the preference of the skip. She's not throwing big weight at it. Final stone. They jumped the sweep though. Yeah. Here in the fourth, really like a little panic. Taylor yeah, Shrevick and Caitlin Skinner trying to guide it there and hold the shooter. A piece, and it'll roll out. Yep. yep. So a steal of one on the board for Nancy Martin here in the fourth. And she opens up her first lead of this one two page playoff. Playoffs on a Saturday night continue at the Viterra Scotties. We know farming isn't an eight to five business. That's why we want to give you the tools to do business anywhere, anytime. With MyViterra, you have a powerful tool at your fingertips to stay connected no matter where you are. Create online contracts, receive customized alerts, view your account information and access grain prices in real time. Talk to your rep today and find out more about how you can harness the power of MyViterra, keeping you connected in real time. This is MyViterra. Everything I've worked for, everything I've sacrificed, has led to this. It's out of your hands now. All the gold medals in the world can't help you now. You could throw the perfect rock and still miss, but it just takes one. You leave it all out there on the ice, you leave behind a legacy. Four playoff game. In the fourth end here, Stephanie Sch Schmidt throwing fourth rocks here on the Michelle Englot team needs to find the four foot to outcount two Barker stones. In turn, draw. Little feather tick off third shot. Stops on the top of the four foot for a count of one and narrows the score to three to two. Barker has hammer in the fifth. They're giving up a steal in three. Come back with a single in four. So, as you said, Penny Barker has the hammer over there in the 3-4 playoff game. We got to look at our 50-50 jackpot. Up over $4,000. Curl, Sask, Dotsie. You can get your tickets. He said 10 o'clock tonight, the draw. So, you got about 90 minutes to get your tickets. Being the gamblers that this team is, and by team I'm meaning us, yes. the broadcast team, we better get our tickets together. Absolutely. And we're big winners. What a rounds at the patch for $4,000. <laughs> <laughs> Nancy picking up that single in four. And a 3 2 lead. Okay. 
This is less. Let's top four, top eight. Top eight's Easy. okay too. Top eight's okay. Whoa! Top eight. Whoa! Let it Easy work. work. We can wait. Top eight cleaning. Whoa! Just the curl. Curl, Maddie. Okay, Maddie. Oh, no, you have to. I think we're on the guard. You side. have to, Maddie. You have to. You have to. You have to, Maddie. Key line. Okay. Had to work it to get by oh, the corner. Oh. Yep, yep, yep. Go, go, go. Go, 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 go. Good. Good. Hit that roll. Good throw. 14-3. Yeah, and early on, two red stones in the forefoot. Leave Skyler the hit and roll behind the corner here now. Nothing out in front, can see them both. Yep, 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 yep. Hard. Hard, buddy. Sorry. Yep. Hard, we're going for the double. Oh, Taylor! Hard, Taylor. Hard, Taylor. Hard, Taylor. Taylor Stremick. Hard, One, two, doesn't get the roll underneath, but removes both red stones. Yeah, no, that was a change of plan halfway down, and I heard, and I, to be honest, I can't tell which voice it was, but they said, we're going for the double. Uh, originally, the call was to play the hit and roll, not worry about the double, but over curl, maybe it was a little tight. They made a, a fairly early plan B call. The earlier you make those calls, the more you can do with it. Yeah, the better it is. I, I you know. Uh, Former teammate of mine, a long time, a, a great girl in the province, was one of the best that I ever saw at that Brad Height. He's one of the best I ever saw at making that plan B call early. He kind of had the theory that he'd rather sweep for something than watch a rock and wait and hope that you get plan A. It's probably the right way to do it. I just I don't know too many that ever did it as well as he did. Well, sometimes it's hard to give up on the original call. Kalen Skinner. The hit. Looking for some roll. They keep slowly working their way over that way, but neither team able to really get under cover. You want, let's throw a 10. Just need more ice. Oh, I like the world. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Sure. yeah. So, 9, 5, 10. That's ten. fine. Ten. Just 10? Yep. I'm surprised how much we rolled. We hit like 7, 8. That's really good way. Yeah. 10. ten. Yep. 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 Really nice, Maddie. Did you draw? Yeah. The Martin yeah. team wants to yeah. get away from that corner, not let okay, so the Ackerman so team have a chance to roll behind the corner. But when they threw that second guard in, or sorry, second rock into the house, they knew they were letting the Ackerman team have a chance of making this hit and roll. So she's just going to draw there. Yep. So Taylor is strong. In her second provincial Scotties, and it's oh, that's not a good look. Yeah, <laughs> something's not good. No, oh, this is picked. Oh, she thinks it was her. I don't yeah, know that, that look with the D, that, that's an oops. Yeah, good luck. that's what that was. Like here, You can sweep, but yeah. it should save yourself, yeah. See now, if she was a little older, she would know that after you throw a rock like that, you're supposed to get up, look behind you, and sweep the spot that's right. right where you got up. <laughs> yeah, picked somewhere. Something here, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Certainly wasn't me. There was a, there was a piece of garbage <laughs> somewhere on that shot. Maybe it was behind the rock, I don't know. I swear I didn't do this on purpose, but there's a possibility. We might actually see Brad Height in a couple weeks. I think he's out of the country now, I heard, right? Uh, but uh, Mitch and Drew, Drew, or pardon me, Drew and Josh are playing in the Tankard in Utana in a couple of weeks, so wouldn't be surprised to see Brad and Tracy there. Good throw, Lynn. 
throw. Oh wait, nine? Sorry, nine? Nine, no! Yeah, it's our fault. You threw great. Nine. Did she get, um, we got like, time? No. We got like a 16. Apparently there is a limit to just how many rocks okay. Skylar Ackerman is willing to ignore. Yeah. <laughs> nine! Air big! Easy! Easy! Whoa! Whoa! Air Whoa. Big. Whoa. Whoa. Aggressiveness does have a yes. limit. Yes. Uh, you, you know, in all seriousness, if she wanted to be aggressive, she's still not in any danger this end. Those two rocks were well over to the side of the eight foot. She could have still come around the corner guard. She could have played the freeze to those two too. Not saying she has to, but for a team that plays as aggressively as they do, it wouldn't have surprised me. And again, the middle's completely wide open, so she, she wasn't really in any danger. Yeah. Yep. There it goes, curling now. If you take one, yeah, then you are back to where we yeah. started. <laughs> then we're back. Coming up After the fifth end. Yeah. Where? Tight three. Curl. Pop, pop. Okay. Curl. 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 Okay, we'll take note of that. She's looks like she'll Mary's ignore one rock. She's not ignoring two. Fourteen five, I think. But okay, good throw. Straight okay. down. Okay. Put it on the team. Fourteen five. Yeah, yeah. Now it's down to one in the rings again. So they're going to play the draw. Who was that second one? Fourteen ten. Another person. Oh, even a good push. D. Even get pushed yeah. up. D line only. Go for it. Yeah. Yep. Get one. Get one only. Back four. Back four. This looks like it's got a lot of weight. Trying to get it over. No. Little tick out in the open. And second shot. Yeah, nice to keep the shooter out. Yeah. Yep. It moves pretty good in this spot. What do you think? Nine five there. Okay. You like that, Liz? I like that, yeah. Nancy yeah. Martin not willing to Fine. ignore a Yellowstone at the back of the rings, so Skylar Ackerman will definitely have another yeah. chance yeah, to draw if she wants to. Yeah. Like if we hit that, they're going to draw anyway. Yeah, I agree. Uh, right? Maybe yeah. Maybe for a good weight draw, hey? I would bet like, they will. That was, I mean, this one's wide open. If I ever don't get it there, but I mean, she doesn't have any error. Do you like that or do you like it? No, I think if you hit, they're just going to sink one. Nancy's they're making her way back down, and this is just one. this comes back to how aggressive the Ackerman team plays. They know it doesn't matter how well you you make the shot at the back, hitting it, she's going to draw. And if she gets there first, she's still going to have a shot for two. That's right. Worst case, it's heavy. We can go to the back. Okay. Nancy says, let's get there first. And they said, if you're heavy, you can come to the back, point, meaning the back yellow, back which the is essentially the exact same situation as if you hit it anyway. Like so 14, the, yeah. their, their miss on this one is to yeah. essentially like make that? the same shot as they were going to anyway. The yellow won't be gone, but if you're frozen to it, it really doesn't matter. We want to be top eight, top four, not yeah. to it. Agreed, yeah. agreed. Skip Stones here in five. Nancy Martin up first. Line's good. Back line. We have a little early. We need it. Hard line. We need the back. We need the back. We need the back. We need the back. Kristen Karwacki, now Madison Clyder as well. Straight. Straight for the backing. Hard. Straight for the backing. Yes. Yep, yep, yep. Take it, Lindsay. Take it, take it. That works. That's fine. Good call. Good thing. 12-9. So they'll lie too. A yellow stone in the back of the 12 foot. So Skylar, just as we said all along, coming around now. Yeah. Skylar electing to come around the guard, surprising absolutely no one. <laughs> coming around, right to there. Yeah, if it was just 13-7, it would have been probably back line. Yeah. 14-5 should be. 14-14, yeah. I like that. You got it, bud. Let's do it, guys. Here we go. Right I don't know if I need the back line. Yep. Okay. 
Second straight appearance in the playoff for Skylar Ackerman. Looking for her first provincial title. Here at the Viterra Scotties. Her first here in the fifth. Down to the forefoot for Shot Rock. Nancy going to come right back down on top of it. Yeah, she wants to make sure she shot. She's got to be on the corner. Yep, she does. The Ackerman team just was sweeping a little bit at the end. They could have left that just a tad higher. Made it a little harder, but still shot. It's not easy where it is. I mean, no. three Nancy quarters on out. top of that, you might be too far over to be shot rock. Yeah, right. If it's not shot, it's a draw for two. If you That's leave it right. out, it's a little hit for two. Yeah. Final stone for Nancy Martin here in five. Like Leading you. three to two. Had a draw in her first one. It was well back. Good. Yeah, she's got to take go. quite a bit off of that Mine's one. Good. Let it We're work. all there. Back four. Okay, well, then roll. Back Let four. it curl. Curl! Back four. Can you curl? curl. We're, going. We're back four. We're on Different it now. Different line. Now. Yep, yep, yep. There it comes now. That's a call for curl. Here it comes. Yep, yep. And where does it finish? Really Enough for shot, shot stone. Yeah. yeah. Four, four. That's so. Good. Yeah. 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 Yep. yeah, we're shot. Yep. Nice. No. Good call, Lynn. We'll make sure we don't hit our top one. Comes off there, hey? Holy man. Nope. Did you get there? Yeah, it looks like the weight yeah. came off that. And they were calling back four, back four. Even at the top of the house, they were still calling back four. Came in nicely. Nice shot by Nancy. So a draw needing full four foot for your single here in five. Yep. I think so. Around the team? Yeah, that's it. Same way, buddy. So wider path out here, Skylar. Right on the T line with her first one, and you heard Ashley call down that it's a different path. Now she specified Skylar, but that matters as much to the brushers too. They've got to be aware this okay, isn't right quite now. the same path Easy. that they just polished. Final stone here in the fifth. For Skylar Ackerman, curling out of the new Tana Curling Club in Saskatoon. Easy. Looks fast. Easy. This needs to hit the brakes. It's got to settle down in the forefoot. Needs to settle down, and it does. Nice touch from the young skip from Saskatoon. And through five ends, we've sold absolutely nothing. Nancy Martin will have the... Hammer in six. We go to the break here on the playoffs on a Saturday night at the Viterra Scotties. Saskatchewan Championship Curling is brought to you by Viterra, SaskTel, Saskatoon Auto Connection, Singler Real Estate, Coldwell Banker Signature, Boston Pizza Restaurants of Saskatchewan, SaskTel Max TV, Curl Sask, and real cast media. We know farming isn't an eight to five business. That's why we want to give you the tools to do business anywhere, anytime. With MyViterra, you have a powerful tool at your fingertips to stay connected no matter where you are. Create online contracts, receive customized alerts, view your account information, and access grain prices in real time. Talk to your rep today and find out more about how you can harness the power of MyViterra, keeping you connected in real time. This is MyViterra. Hi, this is Dustin Keltoff with Saskatoon Auto Connection. I consider it an honor to be able to give back to our curling community, which has been so good to me. Thank you for supporting Auto Connection and making that possible. I would like to do even more with your help. 
From now until the Sandra Schmerler Foundation Telethon, Auto Connection will donate 100% of the proceeds of its VIP membership sales to the Sandra Schmerler Foundation. If you've been on the fence about trying our service center out, it's time to call us today. Hello, good evening everyone. Susan Lang and I'm here with Helen Fornwald from Estevan. And Helen is our Curl Sask president, volunteer role, long time a member of our curling executive. We're here to chat about Curl Sask and where it's going and what it does. But most importantly too, we're here to talk to Helen and, and her role in our curling world. Helen, how long have you been with Curl Sask? I've been with Curl Sask since about 2017. So I, I did a couple, or I did a, a term, and then after that, I did a two-year term as vice. And now this is my first year as president. I took over in June of 2023. You've been a vid busy person down in Estevan. We had a fabulous Scotties and Tankard down there, back to back. You were heavily involved in that one. I think we lost track of all your different roles. But what, what inspires you to do that kind of activity? I've always, even since I was a, a small young child, curling was a, a big part of my life. It was a part of my family life, my parents' life. And so I got into it quite an early age, and then I just can, I still curl today, but giving back to the community, and then I wanted to give back to the province, especially when we started hosting events in Estevan, how I found how really important it was around, and I wanted to share that wealth and knowledge with other communities that were interested in hosting events. Absolutely wonderful. So tell us, what is Curl Sask doing these days? We know they run these fabulous competitions, but that's not all the organization does. No, absolutely, Susan. Well, as you know, Viterra sponsors our Scotties ladies, but they also sponsor our uh, youth clinics and our camps as well. And that's where we get the youth going and get uh, we promote the sport of curling in the province. And then we hold town hall meetings for our memberships where we promote and give ideas on how to promote your club and, or, and your organization in your communities to help them out. You mentioned how much you volunteer. I know you wanted to give a shout out here to the volunteers in Tisdale. What, do you, what have you seen that makes you realize that they are doing a really great job? Susan, I can't say enough about the community and the support of Tisdale. That organization com committee with the two ladies that headed it up has done a fantastic job. They should be very proud of it. The community has backed them, the support, right from the facility to the ice, to their hospitality, to their organizational skills. They've raised the bar for this event and it's just been so fantastic. And as you know, volunteers are the backbone of an event like this. Helen, thank you very much for your time and your wonderful comments this evening and enjoy the rest of the weekend and, and your role as Curl Sass president. Thank you very much, Susan. I appreciate your time and everything you do. Thanks, everyone, and we'll see you in the next Fifth End Break Saturday morning. Viterra's world-leading, fully integrated agriculture network connects producers and consumers to supply sustainable, traceable, and quality-controlled agriculture products. We'd like to recognize Viterra's ongoing support to curling in Saskatchewan through funding youth and school clinics, as well as other programs, and of course, the Women's Provincial Championship. Thank you, Viterra, for everything you've done and continue to do for curling in Saskatchewan. What appealed to me about working in wireless network operations would be just working on the latest and greatest technology in the wireless world. I knew it was the right fit when my days go really, really fast. I like ripping things apart and putting them back together. And with my role at SaskTel, I get to be hands-on with almost anything. We're either fixing, repairing, or building new. There's such a mix of duties that it's never boring. There's such a diversity of activities and there's still so much learning.
Five ends in the books. Same place where we started. Nancy Martin with the hammer and the game tied. Difference is six points split between two teams. We go to the sixth. Another difference is in the first end in the same situation. Uh, the Ackerman team, I believe, uh, put their rock right in the race this time. They threw the center guard. So, well, let's get at it. Here's the corner guard. Yeah, this is a different strategy than we saw in the opening end where everything was into the rings. Right. And we ended up with a blank. All tied at three in a spot in Sunday's championship final on the line. Let's go over to sheet four here right away. And an update towards the end of the fifth there with Petty Barker leading Michelle Inglot three to two. The Inglot team has two yellow rocks there buried. The only way Penny Barker feels that she can get to them is to raise the yellow rock onto the red rock and angle it into shot rock there on the side of the button. She's called a big weight hit. Here it comes. Just over curls, doesn't get enough of the red one, steal of two for the Englot team, and they jump back into the lead, four to three after five ends. Could be a big change in momentum going into the break there with a steal of two. That's right. Certainly, because they were been behind all end, and now all of a sudden they get a nice break and they're one up playing five. That's the one playoff elimination game tonight, where the loser will go home and the winner will go into tomorrow's semifinal. Here in the one-two page playoff game, our featured game, the loser's still alive. They'll fall to the semifinal tomorrow morning. The winner straight to tomorrow afternoon's final. Good throw. Looking at playing the tap, but uh, they're actually going around, but caught in between now. I think when they realized they weren't going to get the tap, they decided they better play the split. That's what they ended up with anyway. Yep. If you can't get something buried, babysit two for now. Yep, for sure. It's a short little run. Shooter should roll almost yeah, into the rings as well. Them both in. Madison Clyder. I have equipment I still use that's older than most of the players on this sheet. <laughs> well, it's funny to see her at 21 years old and on our sheet of info that some of the players filled out years of curling experience. And there are several that have more than 21 years of curling experience. Oh, lots. Yeah. But the respect and the you know, mentorship and everything that happens, it can be easy to say, hey, I've got more years of experience in this game than you've been alive. But, you know, if only it worked that teach. way. Yeah. yeah. Always willing to teach and pass down the knowledge. Just don't beat me. <laughs> yes, exactly. I was talking to Jerry Adam, the coach uh, of the Martin team before the game, and just trying to remember the particular years that he went to Brad. That Actually, I'll bring that up to him. That's a line he could use when he's coaching these players. Look, I was in the briar before you were born. Just listen to what I say. <laughs> yes. The kids don't, that doesn't really hit home, does it? <laughs> Probably not as much as we'd like to think it should. Come on, the same weight or less? I want a 9 5, yeah. Perfect way. I think we try to catch this. Okay. Hey. Mr. Harlow. Hey. 9 5. Okay. Oh, yeah. Well, a chance now to maybe make the double and roll in behind cover. Yeah, 
Kyle Ackerman stone biting in the back of the 12 foot. It's gone too. We won't roll on, but that's okay. Good. Nine. Gotta go mad. I mean, give Skyler the chance to make a double back and sit out there in the control zone. Yeah, we got a new young uh, second at. Uh, Maddie Clyder, and she's a Spitfire, and she brings a ton of energy and a ton of positivity out there. So we just love having her. Nine, nine, five. Yep, yep, yep. You yep. saw the, the smile on Madison Clyder just a second ago. The rookie on this team, Martin. Oh, 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 no, 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 no. Okay. But plenty of big game experience. <laughs> Two-time junior national skip for Team Saskatchewan. Yep. Sir. I saw this two ends ago. All right, yeah. But the youngest player too. in the field. Yeah, I think I like the draw. I'm with you. We saw it two ends ago. I think it was nine. So Nancy with last rock looked at a few things here and settled on playing the draw. They're already sitting one. Be able to get this into the rings. Five, nine. Yep. Ten. Hit. Well, that's a big opportunity missed because that was your chance to sit two, and that one's behind cover. You'd expect Man uh, you'd expect Skyler to go after this one anyway, but you might have had a chance to get a third one behind with a hit and roll later. Now, if Ashley Tevino could make the hit and roll in behind, you're looking at possibly getting forced or perhaps even a steal. Ashley Tevino's. Throwing third stones for Skylar Ackerman. And the roll right underneath. Yep, very nice. Yep. Good job, guys. Nice the Playing the run on this one. One on center line. Yeah, me too. I was like, I don't think we're going to Lindsay Birch. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Nice. Yep. Trying to run back the yellow. Hard. Onto the shot stone. Yes, yes. Oh, get out. Get out. Get out. And we'll get them both. Yeah, good shot. Uh, when you're running the oppositions onto their own in the rings, now it just gives Skyler a chance to come around again. They'll have to make that same one again. Although this time, if they have to make the same one, at least they're running their own color into the rings. Good path here, Skylar. Yeah, Skip stones here in six. Similar? Maybe a foot less than anything, but yeah, I think similar is coming down if we don't see it. Bury it, buddy. Right on the top four? Yeah. Yeah. Take it, bud. Yeah, you got it. Top four, bud. First on the way. Trying to get it right down and in behind. Nice shot. Really good. Really good, buddy. Sorry? Maybe too nice. <laughs> it's one of those things when you're drawing around your opposition stone, you hate to put it in a spot where if they absolutely nut it. You'd be, you'd be looking at one buried. Sometimes you're better off to leave it not quite dead in behind, so if they're going to have to run it back and nut it into the rings, the shooter has to roll off. Just a little. Like an eight? Yep. 
In this case, Nancy's got a couple of different ways she could do it. She could put it straight back, or if she drives it just across the face of that stone in the rings a little bit, there's three rocks over on the right-hand side she could roll behind, including yeah, the yellow one in the rings. First on the way from Nancy Martin. She called it quickly out of her hand. Car wacky. Keep with the shooter. Yep, yep, yep. Can okay, they push the shooter into the rings at least? Okay. And it will bite. Yeah, nice. Yeah, you bet. Okay, let's do it. Okay. Actually, I don't mind an inch more, maybe. Yeah. yeah. But still, Skylar Ackerman sitting too. Yeah. yeah. I'm all right, sir. I think so. Yeah. Let me tell you through it. Yeah. Just like throwing a tight guard here now. Okay. So you said three? Yeah. Okay. Right out front. Yeah. It's going to make Nancy navigate a port to come through to draw, get her one. They put this <laughs> rock out front. It'll be interesting to see if she puts it dead lined up. You're right, Nancy's either got to go to the port or she's got to go really wide. Fine. Yep. Okay. And she might might opt for that. Yep. Final stone for Skylar Ackerman here in six. By protecting about half on the center line side, she's made that port a little narrower too. I think that probably makes it. Well, she's still looking at coming through the middle. Yeah, or you Lindsay can... Lindsay Birch saying, no, no. <laughs> yeah, you can come this way. <laughs> need to put it somewhere in this four-foot area, bite the four-foot. How do you tough. come through the middle without hitting that yellow stone? Well, that's the thing. Yeah. It's, a, it's a tough port. Mm -hmm. What do you guys think for Speedway out here, though? <laughs> for both turns, really, that guard's high enough. It's hard to make it through the port from the intern side. So more like 14.5? Yeah, because of the way they're... Foot. Because of the stagger, yeah. Yeah, and the way they're staggered. So kind of trying to play it with yeah. the outturn, it's hard to get by the rock at the top of the 8-foot. <laughs> Final stone here in six. A draw against two, needing to get a piece of a 4-foot. Straight early! Yep. For her single here in six. Oh, wait only, wait! Line line! Wait only, wait only, wait only! Easy, easy! Madison Clyder and Kristen Karwacki. Mine's okay! Mine's okay! Room! Oh, it's gotta, gotta sit, no! Ooh, gotta that's sit down. It. It's gotta sit down and hang on to the forefoot, and it will. Settles in for one. That touched the yellow on the way by, and if it doesn't, it sails through the back of the eight foot, and it's a steal of one. Nancy Martin. 5-0 and oh through the round robin as a 4-3 lead after six ends as we go to the seventh and the 1-2 page playoff game here in Tisdale. a lottery ticket in Saskatchewan, your money really goes a long way. More than 12,000 sport, culture, and recreation groups receive funding from Sask Lotteries every year. Everyone wins. You're a pizza person, but you're married to a wing person, and your kids are salad people? You can't pick your fam, but with over 50 menu items to choose from, you can make them all happy. Order today and enjoy Boston pizza at home. Back 
right now. Okay, over to sheet oh. four in the three and four playoff game. Two on the board for Michelle Inglot going into the break, Susan. They play the sixth. Sixth end. Open hit to try to sit two, but this rock is really moving over. Oh, but it does stay. Count of two and another lead change. And it's five to three, five to four for Penny Barker. Trading two is back and forth. Couple of deuces. Five four in an elimination game in a quarterfinal. The Page playoff 3-4 game. Michelle Englatt with the hammer in seven. She's won four in a row. Yep. Little work left to do though, coming from behind. Here in our featured sheet, Nancy Martin got her one. Skylar Ackerman made her work for it and now has the hammer here in seven. Nancy made the sweepers work for that one too. It was uh, they were in a tough spot all the way down. They were calling that the weight was heavy, yeah, which it was. Uh, but the, then you're in, you're caught in a spot where if you don't get by, and, the, and they did just rub it, but you hit that any thicker, you don't get into the forefoot because you would have gone out sideways. It was, yeah. it was a, a tough call for the, for the brushers and for the line caller, Lindsay Birch, in the house. They waited as long as they, obviously, as long as they could because they still rubbed it. Well, they got it right. Yeah. Yeah. That is really tough. Wanted to sweep for line, couldn't sweep for weight. Now what do you do? Yeah. yeah. Good. What would Brad Height do? <laughs> Well, the Ackerman team through the corner. Now they're going to use it. Kaylin Skinner, her fourth Scotty's appearance. Into a couple of semifinals. Taylor Shremick and Ashley Tivano on the brush. I don't think it moved very much. I think it, it was on the line. Yeah. Okay, I think it, if anything, yeah. Okay. Like that? Just touch that what center guard think? on the I way by. I, I did, like, yeah. Because yeah. it I'm definitely was, was I was like, well, we can't hit it. Yeah. I'm good with it if you're good with it. <laughs> like with the elegant. Just here right now, Maddie. <laughs> Okay, good. Also, I wish you could see the replay on that. <laughs> hey, Jumbotron. Yeah. <laughs> Where's the Jumbotron when you need it? <laughs> and Madison Quieter. Hey, line's great! Poppy! Room! Room right now! Top four! Curling! Curling! Wait for top four! T line! K Wolf! Back four! Back four! Sliding! Back eight! Back eight! Okay. I think Carl's coming here. off. Curl. We're there, we're there. We're whoa, 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 you're fine. Back T. Okay, that's fine. That will settle down in the back of the forefoot. Kristen. Okay. Kristen. Or we enroll the guard. Yeah, I think we like the heavier. guard. Uh, or we do this. Or do you find I like that. Was my Tick, I like that. Said. Like that Great crowd yeah. in Tinsdale once Tick. again. Okay. Every draw has been great. Yeah, even uh, Thursday morning at 9 a.m. Yeah. Yeah, it's been packed all weekend. 10, 4, 10, 10. Clean only. Clean only. 10, Whoa. Girl. Hard roll. All the way over, buddy. Hard roll. Hard roll. Hard roll. Hard roll. Okay, that's fine. And gets the peel. But somewhere near Tisdale, there are uh, there's a herd of cattle that guy? doesn't have any bells left because <laughs> they're all in the arena. Or you, I still want to do that because they come there. I, I totally agree. Yep. Um, and they have been. They were okay. Thursday morning. I think it was Thursday morning the the draw. It's hard to remember. It was Thursday morning the draw that they went right on cue. I mentioned them and then right after <laughs> started ringing. I didn't are the bells really for expect one them team? to be here. At, and I'm not sure. Make me across the sheet for any good shot. No. Wouldn't that be nice? Certainly has been a lot of it. Good. Oh, 
can get I know what you were getting at. Okay. What's that? You oh, were getting so, so, at the so. okay. people who are here for both? Yeah. Okay. Is that up a bit? Or yep. Can we just, we just make this. The family yeah. connection with Nancy yeah. and Skylar. That's right. Okay. That's right. Oh, okay. Nancy. Nine. Yep. Okay. The aunt of uh, Kaylin Skinner. And that's Max. Probably. But sometimes Maybe teams like. have certain... Uh, a bell could be a sound for one team that they're right. cheering for, and yeah, different teams got a different noisemaker. That's right. Yeah, there was a time that the uh, Schmirler team had these rats, and they were like squeaky rats. Anyway, you could hear them all over the place, but it was just for the Schmirler team. Are we past the days? As this comes in and can't quite get both. Yeah. Are we past the days of pennies in the pop bottles? Oh, I didn't even know that. You can see the pennies in the pop bottles? No. <laughs> you shake the bottle? Yeah, that's good, though. Or the clappers. That makes a heck of a racket. I bet. <laughs> it was, in fact, not Max. <laughs> Indeed, incorrect. That's okay. We're going to miss it. Yeah, I agree. Maybe it was a Winyard thing. It didn't have cowbells. I don't know. No cowbells on the chickens. <laughs> that's right. So we had to put pennies in the pop bottle. Yep, yep. Trying to come right in. Okay, good. We'll touch good. the red one just to the halfway in the back of the 12 foot. Still knows, hey? Just away. Great job by the brushers to avoid the jam. Yeah. In the back. It's not bad, but it's rolling. Great hey. to see you guys. Great to see you. Yeah. You like that or just away? I think we're going to be behind T. If you jam that, leave it in the ring You're somewhere. The other way. You're in some They're trouble be here. behind T the other way. Yeah. You're in a little yeah. trouble as it yeah. is. Dad, Nancy Martin Dad, sitting one right now, but second shot belonging to Ackerman is behind cover, and she's got a chance to hit here, sit two, split the house. Okay, good ten here. Yeah, yeah. And all of that with last rock here. Third stones, Ashley Tivano. Easy. Ten five. You can clean. Whoa. You can clean. Clean. Yep. Oh, yes. really nice. I like that. This is a 10 lens. 10? Yeah. 10 6? I can make it out because there's a wire under there. Oh, sorry. Nice, Ashley. No, I meant like... Okay, this way. Good. You want to roll? 10, 5. You want to roll more, actually. 10. Whoa. Curl. 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 10, 5. Curl. Hoping it curls. Good. And just a nose hit. <laughs> Avoids the jam at the back. <laughs> yeah. Going to recurring theme throw. this end. Line two skips stones yeah, now here in seven. Nine five. Nine five. Okay. Gonna get the roll over there. We saw a finish here before. What kind of way? Nine five. Really, for Nancy Martin, only two ways she can try to get out of this little mess is. Try to exchange nose hits and hope it's high enough that you can make the double. I'm not sure it would be. So she's going to play the hit and roll behind the two yellows. First of two curl. for Nancy okay. Martin. No, don't curl, please. Curl! 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 curl. curl. No. The hit. Curl away for third shot, there, big, just hey? biting yeah, the 12 yeah, foot. Yeah, <laughs> Good. Okay. I think we need 
Let's give Skylar the opportunity to draw to the open side. Just discussing yeah, really how far over they yeah. want to put this. Um, it's going to die here. Yeah. Top four, top eight. Yeah. Eight. yeah, just even. yeah. I think anywhere for second shot, you're probably good. I don't think Nancy okay. can see enough of the shot yeah, rock right now to, to uh, make a play yeah, on it. Okay. Just get it over there far yeah. enough that the hit and roll behind is going to be very difficult. I yeah. I heard her say top eight, which I was kind of surprised at because you can make the roll behind with the top eight. I'm thinking back house or T liner better. Certainly, if you're going wide Depends enough. Depends how far I mean, over. If you get over to the edge of the eight foot and a bite into the 12, you're behind the T line. Even if she freezes to it, you're still shot rock on the other yeah. side. T line! Little tight! First stone. Here in seven for Skylar Ackerman. Worried about Wade sitting right, right on the one at the back, back 12. That uh, looks back like over curl at okay, now. We're back eight. Well back then. Back four. I think that's and pretty good. Settles right down to sit two. Oh, yeah, it's fine. I just can't believe how. Pardon? Once it started to curl, it just got. Thanks for believing it, but it's just. Yeah, it's over that way. Three, six. Yeah. Pardon? Okay. Yeah, it was more than I wanted. Just a ten. Okay. Nose or hair low? Yeah. Nancy Martin and her final stone here in the seventh. Kristen Karwacki on the room. Good, and a hit Nine for eight. Shot Stone. Good. And bad. stays for Shot. Yeah. Got the I think I yeah. Does yeah. make Skylar have to hit for her two points. Did run straight until like yeah. three quarters. Yeah. Okay. Ten, buddy? Ten. Yeah, we got the whole house to roll too. Yeah, I agree. <coughs> so it'll be a hit for two for Skylar Ackerman. Uh, yeah. good, really good. I good ten here. Yep. Straight through, buddy. You got her. Final stone here in seven. Nine five. Okay. Whoa. Then, whoa. Then. Nine Clean. five. Clean. Whoa. Easy. Whoa. Curl. Just clean. Hard curl. Hard curl. Hard curl. Okay. The hit. Good. And two on the board for Skylar Ackerman, taking care of business here in seven. We go to eight, and Skylar Ackerman with a one-point lead in the one-two page playoff game. This is it. It all comes down to this rock. The hours in the gym, the weeks away from my family. This is what I've been training for. And all those voices trying to tear me down. I'm here to silence them. We've given everything we have for a chance to get everything we want. Hi, this is Dustin Keltoff with Saskatoon Auto Connection. Did you know we've moved to a massive new location in Sutherland? Let me show you around. We've combined sales, service, glass, and detailing into one automotive superstore. Whether you want to fix, maintain, or spruce up your ride, or trade it in for something fresh, we've got the team, the services, the inventory, and the financing to help you with any of your automotive needs. Nothing is permanent. To everything, turn, turn, turn. Why not pour yourself a smooth Saskatchewan-made Original 16 for a refreshing reminder. 
Don't sweat the small stuff. Embrace it. Over in our 3 4 page playoff game, Michelle Langlot and Penny Barker have been trading deuces, Susan. That's right, but not this end. As Stephanie Schmidt looks like she has an attempt for a three ender here. Penny Barker had tried to draw down to that one yellow one on the button and then just bounced off. So this rock is wide open. And right on the nose, three points for a, now a two point lead. Seven to five going into our eighth hand. Penny Barker had a two point lead after three. Now Michelle Englet's got a two point lead going to the eighth end. Good way, Galen. And here, one point lead for Skylar Ackerman over Nancy Martin as we play the eighth end. Tomorrow morning Tight will be our three. final semi-final. The winner of the 3-4 page playoff game between Englund and Barker will play the loser of our featured game. And then the final in the afternoon for a trip to Calgary. Yep, yes, Okay, good, nice throw. 16. Well, center guard, corner guard, looks like both teams came to play this end. It's a good spot. Line's good. Top four, T. Kaylin Skinner. T. Trying to come around. Wide back four. Take a look. Take a look. Taylor, you might have to go at the end. Wide open, Taylor. We got to be very good. We talk so much about the teams in the even versus the odd ends and how they like to play it. Nancy Barton here. Trailing by one with last rock and an even end. Presumably, she's got two hammers left to uh, Skylar Ackerman's one. Expect to try to see her try and generate a deuce here, get that lead back going into nine. So she might take a few more chances than we've seen so far in this game. 50-50 jackpot has jumped over $1,200 more. $5,310. You've got about 30 minutes to get your tickets. Curlsask.ca to get your 50-50 tickets. Make a draw every day in today's jackpot up over $5,300. It didn't. Good to know. Back key right now. Yeah, nice little jackpot, but a good cause as well. No! You know that your money goes to a good cause, but maybe you win a few bucks. Absolutely do. Speaking of that, curlsask.ca. Okay. Okay. Three, four. Lock one on. I think you're throwing 14-3. Top boy. Similar to what I've been throwing, but just, yeah. Less for Taylor, hey? Yep. Yep. So with that rock being a little heavy and back behind the T-line, you're going to see the Ackerman team try to come around top four, top eight. Skylar Ackerman sitting two. Sorry. Okay. Like the three. I like the throw, yeah. Okay, you can play definitely. back four if you want. Yeah. Just do this. I think if we left it, it would have been caught by. You want to throw back four? Yeah, this is a harder double, though. Oh, I give it's never going to marry. You got it. It's not a bad spot. T line. I'd like to go a bit. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. T line. Hard. Back four. Hard. Back four. Back Hard. Eight. Gotta go, line. Hard. You gotta go. You gotta go, Lynn. Hard. Push. Everything. Lindsey Birch. Hard, Lynn. And Kristen Carwacki. Trying to get right into that pocket. Yeah. We'll sit for shot stone. Yeah. Curl on them a little. 
Yeah. It's not the one they were actually trying to make contact with. It's Barry. It's also behind the That's T line. Right? Thanks. Right? Okay. I think Taylor can lock one on here. Yeah. Yeah, Nancy might have to start yeah, cleaning things up in the middle just to make sure she's got a shot to score this end. Top four! Top four! Top four! Top four! Taylor Top four! Top four! Top four! Top four! Do it! Do it! Do it! Taylor was pretty sure out of her hand it was less, which is why they panicked a bit. It's got a long way to curl. Trying to get it right down to the nose now. Right down to the button for a shot stone. That works. Gotta get low. It looks fine. This is ten. Come on, quiz me. Quiz you. Rocks are in play behind the T line. Lots of rocks are gonna continue to be in play. <laughs> Am I right? Look how good you're getting. <laughs> There you go. Just Unless proved you wrong. Comes in and <laughs> moves them around. Yeah. Throw them out uh, well, that was getting quite cluttered there around the button and behind the button. So. Nice. And if you're going to do that, it's better to do it early. Well, she knew that first one wasn't going anywhere. She needed two rocks to get that rock off the button, so she had to clear some of the rocks yeah. out from behind it. Yeah. I don't mind either, but. So where does Skyler go now? If you want to replace and freeze down there. No, I think she's looking at, yeah, just because Nancy's got last rock here. I, I wouldn't have been shocked to see her play the freeze. Well, she could have come around with yeah. the. Come around to the corner of your own in the pocket between right, that yellow exactly. and red. Exactly. This way, right over here. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Oh, freeze to that one. Mm-hmm. I think what she's electing to do, play the hit on the red on the other side, have her shooter come across into the stone on the button, into that red on the other side of the forefoot. You might be able to get the double on the reds that way. For Scotty's appearance for Ashley Tivano. The former provincial junior champion. Hit over and slide that red one across a little bit. Lie two. Yeah, it leaves a, a double though. Yeah, good news for Nancy is it's wide open here. There's a good look at it. Uh, the second one's going to jam on the yellow behind it. We'll still kill the, the back one in that line of four. So I'm not sure who's going to have second shot when this is done. Lindsay Birch. And on it right out of her hand. Yeah, called it quarterly. Madison Clyder and Kristen Karwacki. Trying to hold it. Not going to make contact with the second one. And we'll slide over for second shot. Yeah, slides for second shot, although it's the one that's buried. If you can see it, you can see it from the outside, which is where you need to be able to see it to put it onto that yellow. Yeah. So again, Martin team coming down, looking to freeze right there. Final third stone for Ashley Tivano. Top eight. Easy, easy, easy. Team four. Ackerman without the hammer here. Look! Top four! Top four! Top four! Yep! T! Top eight! Top eight! T! Top eight! Just to the red. Easy. Four bumps in. Yep, yep, yep! Straight, Bump straight, straight! And just off the top of that red stone, it will bounce off. But down for second, well, sitting two. Yeah, let's get rid of this guard. Okay. 
Okay. That little bump is enough that it makes it real tough for Nancy to do anything with the red one. She could, she could blast the red one. It probably comes across into the button area, but that might be more of something you play as a, if it's all you have left at the end of the end for one. Here Looking see for the that. triple right now. Yep. Guard onto the two in the forefoot. Final third stone, yep. Lindsay yep. Birch. Krista yep. Karawaki. One, two, and we'll knock it out. Still, Skylar Ackerman lying one without the hammer here in eight. Yeah, I'm just looking at doing the same thing again. Okay. Um, we need a little more room. Yeah. Well, well, tick was big, but she just had had probably Okay. Yes. So I think Skylar. I know. I'm just asking, do you need more ice for the right wing? Yeah. It has to be one of those. Looking at coming. Oh, yeah. Right on in. Sitting here again. To the red. Yeah. Yeah. Lock it on the red. Yeah. You've been throwing like 13 9, and I think we need 14 5. I think two feet less is that really close. Was that a sheet? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Let's lock it on there, but just yeah, a little. Low. We'll be patient with it. Yeah. Okay, you got it. Really careful early. Yep. You yes. Bet. You bet. That's your kick, bud. Top four. Three. Top four. Top four. Skip stones here in eight. Skylar Ackerman's first. Bobby, Mine's good. Time to go. Okay, go then. Mine's good. Just Mine's right saying they need to go Mine's right out of her hand. Taylor Stremick and Kaylin Skinner. Mine. Top four. Mine. How far can they drag it? Trying to drag it all the way down. Into the forefoot. And it's going to come up short. Great sweeping, though, right out of her hand all the way there. Oh, yeah. yeah. Other than bumping it back. Yeah. I just didn't quite get as much as I would have bumped it. Yeah. I just see yeah. it. Yeah. No, like, she threw that, like, here. Okay. I think, yeah. like, this is close. Okay. That's okay. Forcing yeah. you to draw. Yeah. Probably, like, four. After probably so Nancy looking at coming down. Yeah. Um, just basically coming down onto here, maybe move it enough to sit shot. Yeah, if, if you're gonna come all the way down to it, you may as well try to move it. Yeah, I got a four seven on that. Depending where this is. Yeah. Top of the button wouldn't be horrible either. I think a little less. For sure. You'd, you'd, uh, if you're shot. Still be, you'd still yeah. be able to promote it. Yep. Well, even if you're not you don't shot, even have to you've got be one shot. on yeah. both sides that you can yep. play onto that stone at the back, and by yep. being at the top, she can't just follow you down. First stone Mine's good. for Nancy Mine's Martin, Martin here in eight. Mine's great. Whoa. Room right now. Whoa. 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 Room. Three. Easy, Maddie. Easy. Room. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Madison Clyder. Right now, yeah. Kristen Carwacki. Hard. 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 The front end hard. trying to drag it. And yeah, not hit the yellow. Got to get by that. And they're going to bounce off the Ackerman yellow stone in the eight foot. The weight came off that because ah. they didn't seem to be worried that it was that light. Like that was only just going to touch the top of the forefoot. If they get by. Um, I think that part is kind of hard. Yeah, that would be tight. Yeah, just the way it curls at the end. Yeah. Yeah. We were just guard. Yeah, They're looking at trying to come yeah, okay. here, but uh, this is actually tight yeah. to get by yeah. here. And yeah. then get yeah. by yeah, here. Touch center is good. Yeah. So I think yeah. they're looking at just playing Halfway. a guard. Okay. Probably somewhere. That's a really big rock right out there. <laughs> if you could just pull out those big ones Sorry. when you just needed them. Yeah, okay. Now that would be a power play. <laughs> <laughs> and big ones and skinny ones sometimes. Yeah. Add to strategy. I I think this is our, I think if you had good. one, yeah. you could use throughout the entire game. Yeah. Thanks, Once. Yeah. Yep. Final stone for Skylar Ackerman here in eight. The young skip making her third Fight. Scotty's appearance, Fight. trying to get Fight. to the final. Don't kill it. Two and a half. Fight. Two and a half. Got a curl, Locke. Hey, mine's coming down. Mine's good. 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 Mine's good.
Kaylin Skinner and Taylor Stremick try and guide this one in. Hoping it sits down. We have to play this guy. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, it, no. We didn't tap that. Nice. No. We're we'll going to try mode or no? Can we tap this? No. Yeah. Really? It curls, it curls so, so much. That I can't get to enough of that to, with weight, to move this. Yeah. I think. I think we have to play this. Yeah. Time out. I didn't like, know it was that low. Like I'm seeing five. this with yeah. like yeah. firm bump, tear it over, get rid of it. Seeing this spot a bunch. Well, Nancy's pretty convinced she wants to play this one, but uh, it's a really long guard out here that you could play this one just to tap to the button as well. It's safe. It's, it's, that shot? They're both safe, yeah. Oh. Promote the this guard up. probably, mm -hmm. I'd say, a little bit on the race scale is a little bit easier kind of thing, but yeah. you've got to be really thin, eh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. it's really thin. Like, I, know I can't hit that, yeah. more than... I'm sorry, not, not the guard up. No, anyway. coming around yeah. the guard. Yeah. 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 So I think, what no, I'm saying I can't. Like it. Do we ever risk yeah. doing this is the only thing? Yeah. Like I won't. No, it's, I'll touch it's, that's one. under you'd yeah. you'd have it would have to really carve okay. there. So So do you guys like um this like bumpers? Yeah. Mm, maybe like hackers Hack? kind yeah, of thing. I think you better control off. that control. It's not gonna over. Okay, so this has been 13 nine here. 13 so eight like, is back eight. Okay, I see. So like okay, throw like a hack at it kind of yeah, thing. Yeah, like okay, it. Lindsay, you gotta be on the thin side, right? We gotta be hitting that eighth of a rock kind of thing with that enough. We seek here, so I think we need to get to a quarter at no. least. Yeah, no, more, no more than a quarter. Okay. No. Okay. All right. Okay. Sweep it this good. is the one Nancy wanted to play. I think this is the one she saw right from the beginning. Doesn't from this look, look, you look like you can see more of it than the other overhead, which is perhaps, good. Perhaps, but uh, the other one, yeah, there's a long guard to come around, but this is what Nancy wanted. It might look a little different when she gets to the other end. You don't want to hit all that you can see here anyway. If you hit it as thick as what you can see, it's actually going to spin out roll, of the right? forefoot a little yeah, bit. Now, she's not throwing big weight, That's what but she doesn't have a lot of room to roll either. <laughs> sure, not at all. They're probably you know, for two. If you, if you thin. Like yeah. Like this. Thin is absolutely, yeah. I, I, uh, I agree with Jerry. Like, uh, at eight, this is probably good. Now, the problem is they're throwing quiet weight. Now, if you hit an eighth, you're not going to transfer it's a lot of weight, and the rock is not going to go very far. So they want to hit it a little bit thicker. So you're, you're, there's kind of a balance there between the weight and how thick you're going to hit it. Final stone here in eight for Nancy Martin. Now on it. Sounding close. Across, and that's one. Great shot. And executed. She wanted to throw that one all day. She called Nancy it right Martin. from the beginning. Gets the job done in eight. <laughs> and we're tied here in the one two page playoff going to the ninth. We know farming isn't an eight to five business. That's why we want to give you the tools to do business anywhere, anytime. With MyViterra, you have a powerful tool at your fingertips to stay connected no matter where you are. Create online contracts, receive customized alerts, view your account information, and access grain prices in real time. Talk to your rep today and find out more about how you can harness the power of MyViterra, keeping you connected in real time. This is MyViterra. Hi. This is Dustin Keltoff with Saskatoon Auto Connection. Have you heard about our unique VIP program? It's only $49 a year and gives you amazing discounts for all the vehicles in your household. 20% off labor, 10% off parts, 25% off tires, free windshield stone chip repairs, and much more. Complimentary vehicle washes and shuttle service, SGI accredited for auto glass, and some of the best auto detailing in Canada. Making automotive easy, affordable, and honest for you at Saskatoon Auto Connection. here on a playoff Saturday night. Well, I get 50-50 tickets. Susan Lang, update us on what's going on in the three for you. Penny Barker 
already down to looking at four. Absolutely must stay for Shot Rock. And she hangs on on a piece of the forefoot. Down seven, six, though. Englot with a one point lead and hammer in the ninth band. So, force to one. Michelle Englot in a good spot with the hammer up one in nine. Needing a win to advance, both her and Penny Barker in that 3-4 game. Here on the featured sheet, Nancy Martin, great shot with her final stone and eight for a single. We're tied at five here in the ninth. The Ackerman team has been very aggressive all week and probably all season. We haven't seen them a lot, uh, but uh, and it's worked very well for them. But like I've said, don't love that call. You're tied up with Last Rock play in the ninth. They slip their free guard into the rings. If they've given you a chance to perhaps blank this end, you could take Last Rock coming home. Right. You can hit that rock in the 12 foot and make Nancy Martin work. Little early. Little early. Little early. Little early. Little early. So high guard just off the center line. One more look at that shot. From Nancy Martin. Got about an eighth of it. So Thanks, Jerry. <laughs> Going along with Jerry then. did even with what she hit it it did roll just a little bit to the outside and that was the thing that was the balancing act if you, if you hit what you could see of it it was probably going to roll out of the forefoot and then you're giving it it's not going to leave the rings but if it rolls out of the forefoot you could have given up a steal of one or perhaps even two and that will clean up the rings nothing in there Right out the other side. What do you guys like here? I like the corner. Good here. Yeah, I agree. That or my guard. My guard did the same thing. It's four. But I don't know. I felt. So deciding to go around the corner. This is more. This is more. Nancy Martin's probably okay with that decision. I would think. We've so. talked about a little about what Skyler Ackerman might be looking for in the ninth end. Nancy Martin without Last Rock here. She does not want to see a blank, so she's going to have to take a few extra chances, especially if she can stay under cover in the middle because she knows at the very worst, it's probably no worse than a force. She might be able to get a steal here. One point on the board either way. She's in a much better situation coming home than if it's a blank. I would have thought the Ackerman team would have been happy to get a blank here in nine, but um, you would think. the way they're calling this, I guess they're uh, rather play for multiple. 
around and put a stone behind the tee line on a team that Goodbye. likes to play aggressively. Yeah. <laughs> I, I was surprised it took her that long to put the broom down to play the freeze. I mean, you left her a pocket back there. Oh, she's going to look at playing the hit. Not sure if you were going to hit now, why you didn't hit earlier. You can hit the second yeah. shot stone and, and get to the top of the button. That's a pretty good shot, too. Well, I guess we'll call a timeout. Get everybody's opinion, see what the coach has to say. They're not as yeah. nice to their coach. They're making him walk all the way to the far end when they call no, their timeout. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay, I thought you were, yeah. Sorry, I yeah. That. Sorry, I thought you guys meant draw. Because like, we can never get, like, on this side, that's really good. Yeah, that guard's so high. I think okay. I agree. Well, I think, Do you like this one? I like that. Is that four With just, With just hack? I don't think so. Because that guard's still so high, and it's still so early. Like, we'll have lots of room to yeah. have lots of time. But you can see all of it, almost. I think drawing here. Three it's going to be more like a force because yeah, I don't this like year. Draw. Yeah, get, oh, I like this. I think we have to get rid of it. I like that. Okay. 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 Right? What kind of weight are we throwing? Weight? Even if 12? this only goes to here. Yeah. yeah. What are we throwing? 12. 12? Yeah, I think yeah, 12. Over 11? 13? No, I think 12. 12? I think that's a 12. 12? 12 is good. Okay. We'll have to curl a bit. We need yeah. to get yeah. to the inside of this. Yeah, yeah. we need to get the inside. So 12, where's the broom? For 10, I'd probably take like there. Yeah. Yep. How's that look? Sure. How's that look, ladies? Yep. Yep. Yeah. Looks good? Okay, okay let's make it. it. I think we can hold it, too, in this spot. For 12, yeah. am I thinking, like, easy board? No. I, think, I think straight 12. Yeah. yeah. So looking at coming down, the, I think, think the final, final decision was they're going to come down, try to hit this, and time, get to the inside and get on top over here. That was Patrick Ackerman, their coach. Yep. It's Skyler's dad. First time we're hearing the coaches mic'd up. And they were all thrilled about it, too. <laughs> I bet they were. Right past the guard. And right to the button. That's not the rock they were playing. Yeah, not quite the way they drew it up. Leaves a nice little pocket there for Nancy, too. That's nice. Only two games in play out here, but it's uh, getting a little loud. You can tell we're into playoffs. Two playoff games on the ice, Back the 3-4 quarterfinal. Back 12. Win and you're off to the semi, lose and you're done. And here, the one-two page playoff, a win straight to tomorrow's final. And this isn't what you drew up. Not no. at all. That was not the plan. Well, and now the, the bonus for the Akron team, they overcurled on the last one. It wasn't the shot they were playing, but they get to go to school off that one a little bit, playing similar weight here. Another attempt to hit the same rock, and if they can roll on top of their own, sit too buried, both probably biting the button. This one's not curling. Yep, yep. Hey, straight, 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 straight. Take the roll, take the roll, take the roll, take the roll. That's fine. Remove the redstone at the very least. 11, but four, it didn't curl five. over. Yeah. What was it? 11-4? Yeah, good call. Setting three. That's leaving fine. Nancy that double. Stick right Shooter here. should okay. stay right behind that guard. How much fine, Ashley? What, do you want to throw this way? Stop. Yep. If she's a little thin Sorry, on the first one, it turn. comes dead into the side of the second one. Yep. It could come across and catch the yeah, stone yeah. at the edge of the 12 foot as well. Not what she's playing. She'll take the double and what? sit right there on the corner of the button. 
Oh my god. Lindsay Birch. Yep, yeah, yep, yep. Yep. Whoa. Actually, she's Whoa. a little thick. She oh. could hit and roll Whoa. in front of that one, too. That works. Hit and roll. You're close. Watch the roll. Really good. Good. Really nice. That's a nice shot. Sorry. Kind of got caught in between there. They actually would have been better off to hit it a little thicker and stay in front of that stone, not move it. Two thirds. I thought I had to know. Yell down. You can see half. That's a. Pretty thin yep. half, I think, <laughs> but certainly can see it. I mean, the guard's long enough. I'm not sure who said that she could see half. It could have been the second who's standing over in the corner getting yeah. ready to sweep. <laughs> I can see half of where well, I look am. Look at it from here. <laughs> you, say, you and I can see half. Yeah. Kaylin Skinner can't it's get past by. the guard. Oh, oh, oh. That's fine. Roll it that way, but I think we don't get too cute it's here. It's a 10. Close to 13. What is that? 13-3, just somewhere. Yeah. Yeah. Well, just, just somewhere. giving the advantage back and forth and back just and forth they send. Running. No, I won't. That's not bad, though. Are we rolling away? Or? Here, last. Oh, I'd rather do that. Than Nancy having a chance now yeah. to sit, too. Yeah. Uh, nose isn't bad. Even then, she won't be completely out of the woods. Uh, shot rock's nope. exposed now. Try to roll your way. Skylar will have a choice. She could play the hit and roll behind the corner guard. Or uh, it's hard for Nancy to roll to a spot where she won't leave a chance at a double. Although, if you play the double, you probably leave one back. Yeah. Or you shoot her. Kristen Karwacki needs to, to stay. And it will sit. And is there a double there for two? Oh, for sure. Yeah. yeah definitely there's a double there for two now. She doesn't necessarily have to play it. She could hit and just try to roll over in front of the redstone at the back of the forefoot. And then what does Nancy Martin do? Yeah, I think that nose. Yeah. Actually, even nose hit and drive it by that one. What does Nancy Martin do? Yeah, I Looks like nose clips it. Sort of. If she's going to drive it by that one, she's rolling under cover, but hard to do that and hold shot rock. Hit it on the nose, make the double. You'd be close to making the triple on the biter at the back, too. You're going to leave Nancy Martin a, a double. Longer double. Four feet between them. First skip scone for Skylar Ackerman. Oh, 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 big. Oh, close. Nine. Big nine. Oh. oh. Yes. Whoa. 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 Taylor Stramick. One, two. Does catch it. And got the third one, too. So Nancy playing the hit and roll. It's a pretty skinny double. Gotta get rolling. all the way yeah. over behind like cover here. Uh, for, um, just bumper. bumper. It's curling here. Yeah. I think you could even do yeah. more. Just looking at throwing bumper weight on this. So coming down. Just another inch. Rolling over here. She'll be in the neighborhood of uh, probably a corner freeze if she gets it over behind cover too. Bumper Final three. skip stone yeah. for Nancy yeah. Martin without yeah. the hammer here in nine. Whoa, 
Kristen Karwacki. Now the roll. And will it sit down? That's a really nice oh, shot. Right oh, back. tough spin. Great shot from Nancy Martin. Yeah, the high fives. Absolutely. <laughs> what a shot. Skylar wanting to know how much of it they can see from the hacks. Yeah, I guess that's she's been. Well, she'd have to get to nose at least. Yeah. If we play it and come into it, though, like if we, we're still getting one, right? Yep. What do you think? Do you guys want to try it? Shot. Or just draw for one? Question. I think it's cute. Go ahead. Like, yep. <laughs> you know what's coming? <laughs> yep. Yeah. Does she throw it through? Well, yeah. I don't know if you throw it through. You can play this shot for two. Um, and you might get two. You might you give them one. You might yeah. get one. So why not play this? Why not play the play the come around? Try to tap. You might get two, and no harm if you uh, if you don't don't. But they're just gonna draw for one. I think. I guess their their game plan is that they're happier one up. You're gonna hold them to one and ten. I guess. There are some teams that'll play that way. Yep. Uh, but but them being I would, so aggressive. I would, I would wager. That, yeah, like that what you just said is not what they're going to do in 10. They're going to play full up the steel in 10. Hard out for the steel. And if you get forced, that's fine. But they'll play for the steel. They're going to put the pressure on in, in 10. I guess yeah. it's whatever you're comfortable with. Yeah, the, I'm a little surprised she's not making a, an attempt at the shot for two only because they seem very comfortable playing aggressively. So one down coming home with last rock seems like it should be a very comfortable situation for them. So why not take your chance here? If you got a chance for two, take it. If you end up giving up one, oh well, we're, we're comfortable playing that, that uh, one down with. Just need this to sit down. Might be playing one down with anyway. And will it stop in time? Doesn't look like it. And it's yep. one red. One red. So Nancy Martin with a steal of one and nine. Skylar Ackerman retains the hammer going to ten. Hi, this is Dustin Keltoff with Saskatoon Auto Connection. Did you know we've moved to a massive new location in Sutherland? We've got the team, the services, the inventory, and the financing to help you with any of your automotive needs. Update over on sheet number four in the 3-4 game. Michelle Englott, Susan, with a one-point lead. Yes, Penny Barker needed a hit and roll to get behind the rocks. And she rolled out, leaving this open draw for two and a commanding 9-6 lead to go into the tenth. So, Michelle Englott, four wins in a row, takes care in the ninth, gets her deuce with the hammer. And now three up coming home. Penny Barker with the hammer. And her ring cut a moose jaw. Needing a big end. Okay. And here Easy on then. our featured sheet, Nancy Martin with a steal of one Clean. in nine. Clean. One up. Yeah, coming yeah, home. Yeah, be interesting to see how Maddie's Nancy plays Maddie. one up Maddie. coming home. But without the hammer, they haven't yep. flipped it on that board. Ah, uh, good catch, Darren. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> Still touching center line there. When you're done with broadcasting, you've got a career as an official. 
That's how even I, colder do, than this job. <laughs> how do I politely decline? <laughs> now they do great work. Here's and we wouldn't have these events without them. Okay, Here's a look at sheet two. number four. Got to be three or one. Ready for skip stones two, there in ten. Stephanie there. Schmidt has already oh, thrown her first one. Penny Barker has two oh, left. They need three That's to one. tie. Those two stones you just saw, the only two stones in play. Okay. That's right. So corner frozen on uh, the shot rock, but is sitting second. So Penny is looking to tuck around and try to sit shot rock, try to force a Schmidt miss. She needs all of her rocks to count. Yes. Come around the stagger two and then open with Stephanie Schmidt. Jams essentially when she tries hitting the two at the front and leaves it in play. Stranger things have happened. Go, 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 go. Gotta make this one first. Okay. That's fine. The prediction was four, oh. four. And it's just skipping right along, right. and Where? it might just skip all its way to the hack. And this that goes will out be the back. Over. It'll be handshakes. And Michelle Langlot make it five wins in a row. They're off to tomorrow's semi-final. A win over Penny Barker of Moose Jaw. And the team from the Highland Curling Club in Regina continues to roll here at the Viterra Scotties. Line's good. T. Max. Hey, all you guys. T. Top line. So now, one of those two hey, skips you see back. will be playing in the final, and one will be playing Michelle Englott tomorrow morning. A red hot Michelle Englott. What a run that she's on. We're back three, back four. If you can, We're back four. Just go. Oh, oh. Good. Sit. Thirteen seven. Okay. But no interview right now. That's fine. <laughs> she's had to do, what, three interviews yeah. in a row? Similar to what I gave you on yeah. the other one? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, she's happy. She probably doesn't have to talk. <laughs> For now. Yeah. Here's Madison Clyder. Top eight. Okay, Nancy good. Martin Easy. with a 6 5 lead. Top four. Line's good, Rim. Top four. Rim. Whenever we can. Rim. Yeah, then. Whoa. Top four. Yep. Yep. Yes. Go, 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 Kristen. Go, go, go. Right through the opening. Out of girl, Maddie. And right down under cover. Maddie. Also, play the double. Or that. Yeah, I, I think I like that, yeah. Yeah. Great sweep. Just straight roll. Yeah. Awesome yeah. shot. Great sweep. Ten? Okay. Hey. How about the pressure for a young skip here in the one two yeah, against Nancy Martin? Okay. You know, like in that. this situation, that's down one and ten. Yeah. Oh, for sure. There's okay. definitely tons of pressure there, but uh, Skylar's been around the block a bit for a 22 year old. You know, she played high school mixed provincials. She's played U nationals or under 18 nationals, um, junior nationals. Um, she's she's played a lot. <laughs> so uh, yeah, definitely pressure, but it's all part of the learning curve. She moved things around, lose the shooter. They are sitting second shot back there. Just big. Yeah. Go here. Yep, I like that. Okay. Yeah, just the way that Skylar walked around assessing the stones and the uh -huh. with this crowd, and now the only two teams left out on the ice, it just seemed like nothing of this bothered her. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Calm and cool. If I can go back to the keys to the Whoa, game that I listened for this Whoa. team, it is one of the things you could see Whoa. even in the in the pregame when they were. Girl. Dancing Girl. to the music Girl. that was playing over the PA system. Really tight. Girl. They don't Girl. seem to understand that they're supposed to be nervous. <laughs> <laughs> I'm nervous that this yeah. crowd might be Girl. hearing because it gets so Girl. hearing us talk because it gets so quiet Girl. in here. Hard as you can. Hard. Go, 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 go. Good, Maddie. Might be a triple. Depending if that one's higher. We're still second right now. Same, same, same thing. Okay. I heard a comment from the like hack that. end about you might be a triplet. That had stopped a couple of inches higher, there would have been, but it, it won't touch the side of the uh, 
red okay, third shot. I'll just tighten it up a bit. Okay, well, well, same throw, just less. Wait, yeah, that one was 9-4. Yeah, we'll throw 10. Yep, yeah, 10. This is the last ice. Same throw. So just looking to hit the one that was just thrown, roll to the corner. You won't catch either of the other two if you make that shot. That's fine. Got one. And over. Sit second and third, though. Like trying to make contact on that? Yeah. Good. Good. Let's try to roll it this way. Yeah, I like that. Nine five. Can we throw a little less? Throw? Ten? Ten? It's okay. Still open. into third stones here in 10. Really nice, Ken. Oh, no, no, no. oh, 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 curl, curl, curl. curl. Wait, it's nice. Curl, curl. Okay. Okay. That yellow stone will bite. Nothing they could do but watch it and yeah. try to Hit, roll. Hope. give the head shake at it to go yeah. out. It wouldn't go behind the T-line, so they couldn't sweep it. Love it. We sit here in third we stones in the 10th end, so start to yeah, think about the roll, Boston Pizza roll, player of the game. 11? No, I love it. Oh. It's time to be thinking about it. You, we can't give it to eight players, so <laughs> it has been, uh, there's been a lot of good shots. Now, there's been some timely misses, but. Which way? Can't leave them a pocket. We need the four foot open. This way. No. Nope. You're oh. pointed opposite Take direction. Take a shot, Skylar. Yeah, whichever you There's like. no guarantee that we don't have two ends left, to be honest, okay. also. Yeah. Okay, I like it. Ten. You just do this. Yeah. yeah. Ten, that's it. Just so necessary for a shooter. Ashley Tivano. Ten, five. Oh, okay. Easy. Ten, five. Yep. Whoa. Yes. Whoa. Ten. Yes. Yep. The hit. Nine. And the shooter out the side. A little too far on the roll. Yeah. No, yeah, we are. Did you ever freeze down to that one? I like that. Could do this. Yeah, I like that, Nancy. Okay. Try to stay high here. Okay. Yeah. What's our speed here, ladies? Is that T line? Nine, buddy. Um, top, top T. Okay. Top T. 14.5? I thought it was, I think so, yeah. I yeah. think okay. it was quite a nine. Yeah. Yeah. Let's I think it was probably nine five. Bad. Oh, my bad. Mm -hmm. The second stone from third Lindsay Birch. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, Lines great. Well, Lines perfect. perfect. Lots Easy, of whoa! Lots of room. Whoa, guys! Whoa! 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 Take a look! Take a look! Whoa! Whoa! No! 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 Curl! Curl, Maddie! Curl! Nancy wants to curl. Curl, Maddie! Madison Clyder. Trying to get it to the face and will. Good shot. We get all quiet because you ask us about the Boston Pizza player of the game, so we're looking at the numbers. We got all the stats in front of us. I've narrowed it down to eight. <laughs> Can you give it to the coach? I'm just curious. I, I don't think so. I tried no? to give it to an official a couple of years ago. Well, okay. <laughs> we didn't have any luck that way either. Line's good. Look. T. T line's good. Easy then. Easy, easy, easy then. No bounce. Final third no stone. Bounce. Ashley Tivano trying to freeze this oh. right to that last red stone. Needs to curl over and just stop okay. right know, there. Okay. She likes sitting on that right now? 13 8. Uh, timeout. Time. And a timeout from Nancy Martin. I'm seeing like a bumper. Once again, Jerry doesn't have to walk very far. 
They're very Back kind. Right Running a little low on time, yeah. under two minutes. Move that yellow guy out of the way I think just so. to make some more room. Yeah, like this should pop here. So if I throw like back line, yeah. or do you want to get rid of this? No, that that's not important. Exactly. No, if you move it a foot, you're you're ahead of that shot. Yeah, anyways, so he's trying to thing. stay. So hit it on the nose or a little like seven eight. Seven eight high, high, kind of on the high, on yeah. the broom side sure. there. What do you yeah. think, back line, Jeff? Yeah, I think just here someplace kind of thing, just enough to move everything back a little bit. But the importance is to keep that, that on the high okay, side so there a little bit. We're taking like here for the draws. They're taking a while to get there. Do you like like this? It's quite straight. Like I know when it yeah. gets in there. Hey, I think like, like, hers, like, like do you like here. Does Yours that look ran. at you? Yeah. I do. Or what yeah. do you think? With back line? Or do you like less? No, I think they're. I think you're in the ballpark there. I don't think we want to take. Any less, less than that, because I think we don't want to come across. I'd rather hit that on the outside and Do stay. Do I get her more? Maybe the middle. In? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. In the middle of the logo and the this Because okay. we'd rather, like I said, if, if we hit and roll that way, then we, we got a shot in our yeah. last We're one. We're staying on this side of the rock. Yeah. Right? Seven, eights, not, seven eights high with a little bump. Okay. That's right. The Nancy Martin team, such a collaborative effort <laughs> amongst all of them. Like, they were literally in a circle all going around being a part of every decision and that's not just today that's to all week there you go it's a team game yeah like they all had input they all want to know exactly what they're doing yeah okay and i think they all bought in they all agree that this is what they want to play yeah yeah i like that skip stones here in 10 nancy martin Back line. Firm, firm back line. Close. Close. Here yes. we go. Yep. 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 Trying yep. to remain perfect here in Tisdale. Five and zero oh through the round yes. robin. Yes. 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 It left it, uh, if, you, if you could see the nose of that red, you could squeeze. I don't know if you can get to the nose, though. Plenty of time for Skylar Ackerman, just under five minutes. And actually, I need to apologize. I flipped. Skylar Ackerman has yeah, Ackerman just has under a minute and a half now. Oh, pardon me, the clocks. Sure. Nancy's the one with almost five minutes. Make sure we hit the high side. The time. Yep. So these squeeze here. Play the red onto the yellow. The yellow goes onto the red at the back. The yellow's done not leaving. Yeah. And hope did you say end there's this not a double sitting too? Yeah. Well, you're, you, you're not gonna, you're not playing the double here. I'm not sure if it's there. But the important thing here is you don't want to just hit this right on the nose and leave them in the same line. You'd like to hit it just slightly off, roll to more of a corner on that red so that you could drive it over the top of the one that you're going to leave in the back of the 8-foot. If you just change the colors and leave them in the same line, you'll leave the same shot for Nancy Martin. First skip stone for Skylar Ackerman. Okay. On the other side. Yeah, but it leaves her sitting second and third. Do you just hit that? Oh, wait, buddy. Do yeah. we ever sit here? Any, yeah, I just can't. Oh, anywhere hi. we don't leave a double, right? I think that's... Final two stones coming like here no, in no ten. Roll, yeah. I don't Everybody think checking the that. clock before they decide well, to discuss this. They've used that. both their timeouts. And look at the yellow clock. Yeah, That's Skylar Ackerman. They're going to call their timeout. Have a timeout left. It can't be here, but 32 but seconds. Are, Plenty of time for I mean, Nancy at four and a half down. minutes. Don't just be here. Make it good. Right yeah. here. Right here. Okay. Top four. Top four. It'll be plenty of time for Skylar, too. This They'll use the timeout. Too. She'll make her way down. Her it, shot, yeah. there's not yeah. really going to be a lot to discuss. Yeah. It's going to be dictated yeah. by what Nancy Martin leaves her here. If there's a double, she's playing it for the win. If there's not, she's going to have to draw the button and try to get into the extra end. There's not going to be a lot to think about. But guys, if she tries to play a double, she's 
That makes me feel better. I was getting stressed as she was sitting in the hack. <laughs> you like your hair more, Vince? Sure. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. It's like fourteen two. Yeah. Where yeah. I want it to be, right? I agree. Nancy Martin trying to get back to the final. Her final stone here in ten. Heavy. Mine's green. I got heavy. Well done. Well done. Back eight. Well, Kristen Karwacki and Madison Clyder will guide it in. Back eight, we're heavy. Back eight, a double. Let it work. Let it work. Curl. Now Karwacki. Curl. Really coming off. Can we be here? Okay, whoa. Let's be one, two. Just sit. Wanting this to sit down. It's okay. Good. Thanks. And it settles down half in the four foot, half in the eight. I think we try it. And if I we think just, we try it. Yeah, we just do that. Yeah, it's, it's time. Oh, she left the double. It's on, it's on, it's on. It's on. <laughs> <laughs> uh, One more. Quarter? It's a quarter. Oh, yeah. Yeah, third. Call it a timeout just so she has time to get down and throw the rock. <laughs> Coach is not coming out for this one at all. Let's hype her up. Yeah. Easy peel. And the hole is there for that red rock to just slip well, through. Well, even if it doesn't slip through, even if it goes off that one and out the side, she's still got third shot rot in the uh, in the 12 foot, which would then be because second. Because your shooter would stick. You're on expecting to stick yeah. the shooter when you make the double. Yeah. Yeah, that's that rock and Nancy Martin's just slipped a little bit too deep. Deep breath, buddy. Left a, a fairly makeable angle on this double. You leave that up a little higher, and she's got to hit the first one so thick, and with still with enough weight to kick over, it's that's a tougher shot. Big shot for a young skip. A chance to make the Viterra Scotties final. You. Final stone in ten you for Skylar Ackerman. Whoa. Yeah. 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 Taylor Stremick yeah. and Kaylin Skinner. Whoa. 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 Do they got the double? One, Ackerman. two. And they've got it. <laughs> Handshakes in Tisdale. And the youngest team in the field, Skylar Ackerman and her foursome from the Nutana Country, uh, Curling Club in Saskatoon are off to the Viterra Scotties final. And while they celebrate, we'll let you know that the Boston Pizza player of the game is Taylor Stremick. And Taylor will win the uh, $50 gift certificate to Boston Pizza Restaurants in Saskatchewan. And I expect she might have to take three <laughs> people with her. <laughs> Taylor Stremick and her second Scotties are Boston Pizza player of the game and Skylar Ackerman in her third Scotties appearance. Second straight year in the playoffs. She's off to the final and she's standing by with Kim. I've got Skylar right here. Nice last shot, Skylar. Thank you. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> that was a back and forth game. It was it was a it was a wild one. Back and forth all the way through. At what point or at any time did you ever feel that you were sort of in control or where you wanted them to be? I feel like it was back and forth every end. It kind of seemed like kind of whoever had hammer had control of the end. So we knew it was going to be a close one coming into today, and uh, it was, that's for sure. So And it was, and a lot of great shots. Okay, take me now to tomorrow. You're into the final. Now what? <laughs> just calm down a little bit, take a breath. Um, I think just carry our momentum moving forward to tomorrow. I think as the game went on, we kind of peaked as the game went on. So I think if we can just keep that momentum moving forward to tomorrow, we'll have some success. That sounds fantastic. Good luck. Enjoy your night tonight. Thank you so much. <laughs> Skylar Ackerman, yeah. Cause to be excited for sure after that. Yeah, certainly excited. A big last shot, a, a great way to win. That'll give them some momentum going into the day tomorrow. And <laughs> I have to say, though, to answer Kim's question, she asked what she thought it was in control. And I think the answer to that would have been when the last rock came to stop, <laughs> came to a rest. And she was still sitting, too. It was a back and forth game. I lost track of how many lead changes there were, at least five. Uh, just a fantastic game, and we'll look forward to two more like that tomorrow. That would be outstanding. Two games today, two big playoff games on a Saturday night. Our featured game saw this final shot from Skylar Ackerman, makes the double, and she gets past Nancy Martin.
Hands the Martin Rink from Martinsville their first loss of the competition and advance to tomorrow's final. Meanwhile, Michelle Englot picked up her fifth win a row over Penny Barker and Moose Josh. She'll advance to tomorrow's semifinal to take on Nancy Martin. The winner meets Skylar Ackerman in the championship final tomorrow night here in Tisdale. Until then, on behalf of our entire team and everybody here at the RecPlex in Tisdale and Realcast Media, I'm Darren DuPont. Thanks so much for watching and good night from Tisdale.